Welcome to Fanfiction Audiobook. Marvel. The Strongest Villain. Chapter 61. Laura was indeed awakened by the slap in the face of reality, and she realized that the man in front of her was definitely not something she could deal with alone. She needs help. Turning around and picking up her coat, Laura tentatively walked over to the doorway. Send her out. Su Sheng said to Lily. Lily took Laura out. Laura was very surprised along the way, because she found that she seemed to be in a boat, and what was even more shocking was that when she got off the boat to identify the surrounding environment, the boat was missing. Laura touched it subconsciously. Obviously there is nothing, and the scenery is exactly the same as the surroundings, but she can run into this, boat. She stood by and was silent for a while before turning to leave. Since drive, Manhattan is not there, Su Sheng is not interested in learning about the other members of the Watcher. Although this Laura is also a standard wave with a big waist, hips and long legs, it is not as good as Lily. He has no idea of changing the pillow for the time being. Seeing Lily coming back, Su Sheng operated the disciple to lift off slowly. It didn't matter what Su Sheng left, it made Laura who wanted to ask the rest of the watcher to help Laura it took a long time to see him again. Moscow, Bolshoi Theater. 10. A well-known ballet company happened to be performing here tonight. In the exclusive box, Soviet female scientist Valentina is sitting on a leather sofa drinking red wine and waiting for the opening. He wore a long red one-piece dress, long hair curled up, and delicate makeup, but his eyes were filled with helplessness and anxiety. It failed again. The research on the Firestorm Matrix failed again. She felt that she had touched the threshold and was only one step away from entering the door, but it was precisely this step that made her only step outside the door. What the hell is missing? She shook her head and drank the red wine, preparing to concentrate on watching the show. Bang bang bang. Come in. Valentina replied casually when she heard a knock on the door. The door opened. A man with a standard Asian face smiled in, carrying a person in his hand. Valentina recognized it. It was her driver. You. Valentina hurriedly got up and saw the other party throwing her driver aside, and followed with a beautiful girl who came in. Hello, Miss Valentina. Su Sheng sat down on the other end of the sofa with a smile, glanced at the red wine on the table and smiled. It's so boring to drink alone, am I with you? Valentina hesitated and laughed for a second or two. Okay. Just as Su Sheng was about to stretch out her hand, Lely on the side walked over with a wink and poured two glasses for them. Cheers. Cheers. The two smashed their cups and took a sip. Su Sheng smiled and said, I admire your courage and calmness, so I decided to make your life more pleasant tonight. Should I say thank you? It should be. Su Sheng said modestly. Have you heard of time travel? Valentina stunned slightly. You know what you look like. Did Vandal Savage tell you? It's better. It's better to keep it for you than to waste saliva to explain. Su Sheng chuckled. Valentina frowned and said, your flirting level is not very good. Maybe I'm more straightforward at ordinary times. Let's just say it. I'm a little interested in the Firestorm Matrix, so I want to learn from you the system. In return, I will help you become Firestorm and give you a one-way ticket for time travel. In the future, any time you want. Valentina. Why should I believe you? You already believed it, didn't you? Su Sheng motioned to Lily to pour the wine holding the wine glass in one hand and holding Lily in his arms to enjoy the ballet performance that had already begun. The performance began, but Valentina didn't look at all, watching the strange man who was drinking with his arms around the woman thinking about the proposal he had just made. The main purpose of her research on this project is to help the country win the United States. If he is really a time traveler, if he can really help himself to become a firestorm, then he might as well give it a try. As for whether he lied to herself, Valentina was confident to be able to figure it out. Valentina toasted and smiled at the thought of this. Hugging another woman in front of a woman is not something a gentleman should do. It doesn't matter, I have done even worse things. Su Sheng smiled lightly and clinked his cup to watch the ballet performance intently. One cup, one sentence. The two of them talked like familiar friends from the beginning of ballet. At first, Valentina was just talking, but gradually she became a little unconsciously forgetting her purpose. It was not that she was not alert or how big Su Sheng was. The charm of Su Sheng, but she thinks that what Su Sheng said may be true. 
He is really a time traveler. You said this will become one of the top 10 theaters in the world. Valentina giggled. So I should go to the theater to rent this box for a longer period of time, it's better to buy it directly. Why not just buy the theater? Su Sheng asked casually. Valentina was stunned and smiled. You are right, maybe I should do this. The two-hour performance ended successfully. Valentina got up and walked to the wall to take off her jacket and put it on, and said to Su Sheng. I accepted your proposal, when will you come to me? Why not now? Anyway, I don't have a place to live in this era, I think you shouldn't mind. Valentina bent over and took out the key in pocket 347 of the driver's clothes that had not yet woken up and looked at Su Sheng. Can you drive? Happy to help, beautiful lady. Su Sheng pretended to be a gentleman, Valentina smiled and took his arm. After coming out of the theater to find Valentina's car, Su Sheng drove, and Lily got into the co-pilot a little nervously. Valentina sat in the back and said the address. The car started slowly and drove away. Su Sheng is not considered to be a schoolmaster. It is not the type of learning how to make progress every day. Finding Valentina to learn the knowledge of the Firestorm Matrix can only be regarded as an interest to find a general from a dwarf. After all, Firestorm's ability is still good. It is possible to change or transform objects with different atomic properties and structures, such as converting lead into gold of the same quality. With this ability, it is equivalent to having a money printing machine, so you don't have to worry about money. Although he has never worried about money. At night, it's as dark as ink. There were bursts of high-pitched voices in the room of Valentina's mansion, and the unbridled voice made it impossible to sleep at all. Valentina clutched the bed sheet tightly with her hands, her face was flushed with whites. This is what you said to make me happy tonight. This is the biggest humiliation to me. Valentina gritted her teeth and stared forward. There was no one in front of her, only a wall. The sound came from behind this wall. Yes, Su Sheng was not in her room at all. Valentina thought that something was going to happen when Su Sheng flirted with herself and went home with herself. Although she would not easily let the other party succeed before she figured out Su Sheng's identity, Su Sheng took the woman back directly. The behavior of the room made Valentina very angry. This is a humiliation to her charm. As Su Sheng's pillow, Li Li is the best so far. She can satisfy Su Sheng before going to bed and fall asleep peacefully. Now she has another wake-up function. Su Sheng, who is woken up in a daze by a special way, even felt like he was trapped and unable to get up. After fighting for more than an hour, he finally got off the bed. After finding the bathroom and taking a shower, Su Sheng got dressed and then came to the living room. As soon as I arrived in the living room, I saw Valentina with an ugly face and a man with a big beard and a savage face. Vanda Savage. Su Sheng called Roar at him without apparent surprise, and then looked at Valentina. My dear, can I trouble you to pour me a glass of milk? I think I should make up for it. Although Valentina was unhappy, she got up and left. Don't you want to say something? Vandal Savage looked at Su Sheng who was sitting down and asked with a smile. In no mood. The plan for a day lies in the morning, and Su Sheng, who just finished the morning exercise, really doesn't want to talk. I think you should say something. Vandal Savage's face gradually became cold, his voice threatening. Su Sheng looked at Vandal Savage and seemed to have compromised, hesitation a few times before tentatively said. Morning, good morning. It seems that you should be a liar. If you are a time traveler, then you should know who I am and the fate of playing me. Vandal Savage shook his coat slowly, like a magic hand. A dagger appeared on it. I'll give you another chance. How long does it take for you to be resurrected? Su Sheng asked suddenly. Vandal Savage stiffened. Is 10 minutes enough? I might be interested in small talk in 10 minutes, so you die 10 minutes first. I don't think you have this ability. Vandal Savage threw the dagger at Su Sheng abruptly. High speed. In this distance of no more than 1 meter, Vandal Savage is confident that he will be faster than a bullet. The voice fell, and the dagger stabbed Su Sheng. Vandal Savage's conceited expression froze, and the dagger was caught. See you in 10 minutes. Su Sheng said lazily, and pointed his finger weakly at Vandal Savage. Boom. A flash of electric light hit Vandal Savage in an instant. Although the electric current was not big, it was very powerful. 
The heart of Vandal Savage was directly pierced and even the sofa had an extra hole, and the floor behind it could be seen faintly. Patter. The sound of the cup cracking sounded. Su Sheng turned her head and saw Valentina standing not far away in shock, with a cracked cup at her feet, and milk spilled all over the floor. What are you panicking? Don't you know that he can be resurrected? Su Sheng frowned and pointed at her feet. Is this milk for me? Yes, yes. Although Valentina knew that Vandal Savage would be resurrected, she had never seen it with her own eyes after all, and it was too sudden. She knew that Vandal Savage was very good, and she didn't know that they might do it if they were unhappy, but she never expected it to be like this. Vandal Savage actually died. And what was the flash of light just now? Is it his ability? It's shameful to waste. Su Sheng looked at the milk on the floor inside Valentina and said, This cup is given to you. Don't waste it. Send me. It's all spilled on the ground. Valentina said subconsciously. Yeah, that's why I let you. Don't waste it. Su Sheng looked at Valentina and said with a heavy smile. Valentina's face turned ugly in an instant. How to drink it sprinkled on the ground. Although Valentina does not own cats or dogs, she knows how they drink. I can pour you another glass. Valentina said with a stiff face. Are you sure you want to do this? Su Sheng slowly raised his hand, and the electric light shuttled through his fingertips. You don't have to do this. Valentina said strugglingly. It's shameful to waste. The electric light grew stronger, and there was a feeling that Roar wanted to come out. Valentina watched Su Sheng slowly squat it down. Master, what is she doing? After taking a shower, Li Li put on her clothes and saw Valentina's appearance. When she came to Su Sheng's side, she couldn't help but ask in a low voice. A small punishment, I will have some fun for ten minutes of waiting. Su Sheng chuckled lightly. Look in the kitchen and pour me a glass of milk. Okay. Lily turned to look for the kitchen. That's all right. Valentina asked Su Sheng angrily after a while. Su Sheng smiled as he was about to speak when he heard a roar next to him, turned his head and saw that Vandal Savage didn't know when he was already alive, and his chest injury had healed. So fast. It's not ten minutes, and I haven't seen how you resurrected, so, die a little longer. Looking at the angry Vandal Savage, Su Sheng raised his hand as a flash of lightning. Vandal Savage fell again. This time Su Sheng kept staring at Vandal Savage's corpse. Ability was copied when Vandal Savage did his hand just now, so Su Sheng wanted to know if one day he overturned the boat. How to resurrect. Regenerative healing factor, resurrection. This kind of ability would be extremely exciting if anyone had it, but Su Sheng was not surprised. Regenerative healing factor is not very attractive to him at all. There are not many people who can kill him anyway, so for him ability is only interesting, or boring. Vandal Savage is resurrected again. This time Su Sheng saw clearly how he was resurrected, similar to a feeling of body reversing or restoring, recovering instantly after the process is over. Judging from the time of the two deaths and resurrection, this process seems to be the same. In other words, whether it is cut to death or blown into powder, the time required for resurrection is the same. Vandal Savage, who was resurrected again, instantly jumped away from Su Sheng and looked at Su Sheng vigilantly. Talk. Su Sheng looked at Vandal Savici with a smile. His face couldn't help changing, and after a long while he suddenly sat back with a smile. You did it deliberately. What you don't want to say, what you didn't see how I was resurrected, this is a means of negotiation, you just use this way to take the initiative in the conversation between you and me. I believe you are a time traveler yes, as long as you can help me, I don't mind giving you the highest respect. Forget it, don't make your own brain, I just didn't bother to talk, I am better than you, which means I don't care about your thoughts. You should be very clear about this. Su Sheng said lightly. Vandal Savage did not know, but Valentina knew very well. Because Su Sheng is strong, Su Sheng didn't pay attention to his own thoughts at all. And I won't show my hands again, for fear that you will misunderstand that you are the number one in the world. Su Sheng stabbed the ugly-faced Vandal Savage again. I have already negotiated the conditions with Vandal Savage. You don't need to do anything, you don't need to change, just wait for things to happen step by step. Any question? What's your name? Vandal Savage asked after a pause. Su Sheng. He will leave it to you. Vandal Savage turned to look at Valentina, then stood up and smiled towards Su Sheng. 
I'm waiting for your good news. Go slow, don't send it. Vandal Savage is gone, but Valentina is a little embarrassed. It might be nothing if there is no, shameful waste, but now she does face Su Sheng as if everything has happened. People want face and dignity. Especially Valentina's excellent people. But Su Sheng didn't take what happened just now, as if it had never happened. Still smiling and chatting with Valentina, sometimes a gentleman said my dear, sometimes very polite and would say please, which made Valentina gradually forget what had happened and couldn't understand Su Sheng. After drinking milk, had breakfast. Su Sheng started from scratch with Valentina and began to study physics systematically. After all, physics is the foundation of all this research. Su Sheng didn't research the idea of firestorm ability by himself, after all, it was too simple for him to obtain ability. There are two reasons for learning. One is to figure out the principles of firestorm and to create firestorm at will. Second, to pave the way for more interesting things in the future. For example, he really wants to get a steel battle suit. If someone wears a steel battle suit to attack him, he can copy all the abilities of the battle suit but cannot make a battle suit out of thin air. Although there is no difference in essence. But with battle suit and without battle suit, the degree of coolness is completely different. Anyway, I don't need a new pillow for the time being and I didn't think of the place where the waves are. It's better to be a diligent and studious. Su Sheng remembers that the disciple's ability is embodied in infinite replication and infinite superposition, but in fact it seems to be related to the spirit of thinking. There is no harm in learning more. Taking a step back, it would be too frustrating if you copied an interesting ability but couldn't think of an interesting application. So Su Sheng started learning very seriously. Learn all kinds of basic knowledge with Valentina every day, and the rapid progress makes Valentina become roar genius. Su Sheng just studied with Valentina during the day and fought with Laili at night. Time flies quickly. Three months passed without knowing it. It's incredible. On the bed in the bedroom, Su Sheng put down the book and said to Laili, who was leaning over. What? Lily raised her head and didn't react for a moment. I didn't expect my enthusiasm for learning to last for so long, three months, right? With my disgusting personality, even the most interesting things should feel boring. Su Sheng said with emotion. After three months of getting along, Laili also had a certain understanding of Su Sheng. She hesitation asked for a while. Then, what about me? You, Su Sheng said with a light smile. Your shelf life is already long, but now it's not as fresh as before. At least I couldn't do two things at once before I can concentrate on studying at this time. Su Sheng shook the book in his hand. Lily couldn't help feeling a little sad. Don't be too sad, you will get tired of eating delicious food every day. Su Sheng comforted. It's just that this kind of comfort has no effect at all for Lily, but it will be counterproductive. I have to say that Lily should have been the most comfortable in the past three months. She goes out shopping every day, or she just waits on Su. Sheng, full of body and mind, has integrated into this era. Now Lily has a sense of crisis, she must do something, must be able to retain the value. She also thought about what she should do. So in the next period of time, Riley had more contact with Valentina. Although she didn't know what the same equations as the sky book represented, she knew that Firestorm was two people, and Valentina herself could not be Firestorm. So she tried to let herself learn these unintelligible books. At the same time, she used Valentina's relationship to help Su Sheng find Dr. Manhattan. Although she heard that Laura said that Dr. Manhattan is no longer on the earth, she must do something. The person you were looking for has news. Valentina came back from the outside and took off her coat and looked at Lily. Now you can tell me why you were looking for her. Do you want to be Firestorm? Lily asked in a deep voice. You know. Valentina was stunned. Lily said, you help me now, and I will help you when the time comes. What do you mean by that? Valentina looked at Lily with a frown, but Lily didn't explain but just stared at her. Lily is not stupid. Even though they seemed to get along well during this time, Valentina did not really relax or trust them. Although Vandal Savage has never been here, he must be aware of what happens every day here. Laili is to prove the value of staying with Su Sheng, not to sell Su Sheng. If you tell Valentina that Firestorm needs two people, what is the difference with selling Su Sheng? 
I will hand it over to you in three days. Valentina said after thinking about it. Don't let the master know. Lily reminded. Three days later in the afternoon. While Su Sheng was concentrating on studying, Valentina took Lely to the warehouse in the distance of the villa yard. There is a basement with excellent soundproofing under the warehouse. Lily saw Laura wearing a yellow and black dress. At the moment, she was fixed to the cross mug on the wall in a big font, her hands and feet were fixed by iron rings, her head hanging down seemed to faint. It was a little trouble when catching her. She has a group of partners who wear fancy clothes like her. And it was discovered by the CIA of the United States, so whatever you want to do, it's best to hurry up. Lentina reminded. Lily nodded. Valentina turned and went out, and just a few steps away, she heard Laura's voice. As the night got deeper, Lely came back to the room helplessly and a little tired. Laura is more difficult than she thought. You've changed. Su Sheng put down the book and looked at Lely who came in with a chuckle. Huh. Lely was stunned and nervous. You have turned bad, why do women bother women? I can hear the screams so far away, and Laura can be considered bloody. Su Sheng said with a chuckle. Puff. Lily knelt down with a puff. Master, I'm sorry, I shouldn't hide it from you. Get up, what are you doing, I didn't blame you. Su Sheng chuckled and waved his hand quickly. I'm still very satisfied with your motivated thinking, but the method of interrogation is a bit weak. Although rude but inefficient. I, I don't know what to do. Lily explained in a low voice in a daze. Learn more with Valentina, or go to the Gulag camp to see how they treat the prisoners. Maybe you can turn from a pillow to my assistant. Su Sheng chuckled. I will try my best not to let the master down. Lily said with joy. But after finishing speaking, Lily seemed to think of something hesitation and said, But master, I still seem to be in trouble. Valentina was found when she caught her. There are her partners and people from the United States Central Intelligence Agency. If you let her go now, will she not pursue it? Will they not pursue it? Su Sheng asked. Lily shook her head. Since it is irreversible, you should try your best to achieve your goals. Moreover, you are my pillow, you will have nothing to do until I lose interest in you. And, Su Sheng paused and smiled brilliantly. Congratulations, you have saved your life. I now look forward to what kind of surprises you will bring to me. Lily was completely relieved, and at the same time thankful that she did it right. In Su Sheng, if it remains unchanged, it will be eliminated. Li Li keeps this in mind. The next day, Lily asked Valentina to take herself to the Gulag camp. Su Sheng went to the basement of warehouse. Hi, long time no see. Su Sheng smiled and called out. Roar looked at Laura, tut, it's so miserable. Lily did change. The previous living environment, my own experience, plus the influence of getting along with Valentina during this period of time, made Lily a bit of a female villain. See how ruthless Laura was hit. What do you want? Laura glared weakly at Su Sheng and shouted. If I said that I had forgotten you, it was my own pillow that caught you, do you believe it? Su Sheng moved the chair to her and sat down in front of her and asked casually. Do you think I will believe it? Laura snorted coldly. Su Sheng spreads his hands. It doesn't matter if you don't believe it, it doesn't matter if you believe it or not. I thought about it last night. If Dr. Manhattan predicted the future and was scared to leave the earth, that means he should know everything I did to find him. But he ran away, do you know what it means? It means that he will not appear when I do anything, unless I become stronger in the future and master more ability to be able to find him. The interesting thing is that he should know this too, but he can't stop it, he can only run. Because once he shows up, as soon as he wants to stop me, I succeeded. He can only run, try to make the failure day later arrive. Look, as strong as Dr. Manhattan, I can only run and cannot change the outcome of failure. What are you fighting for? Su Sheng slowly got up and untied her hands and feet under Laura's dazed gaze. Freed, Laura staggered and looked at Su Sheng suspiciously. It's really not that you want to catch me. Su Sheng shrugged and looked up and down Laura without speaking. Laura has changed her uniform and has a lot of charm. I have to say that equality between men and women is a joke. Men wearing tights with exposed legs are considered abnormal, but women wearing them like this can add extra points to their charm. Laura was silent for a moment and asked. Where is this? Can I go now? 
You are free to come and go, but here is the territory of the Soviet Union. I am afraid it will be difficult to return to the United States if you dress like this, and after returning to the United States with your 1.6 character, I am afraid that nothing has happened. Will investigate me. Su Sheng walked to the table aside with a chuckle and swept the contents to the ground, then moved the table and placed it in front of Laura. What are you going to do? Laura asked warily. I can have someone send you back, but before that I have to find something for you. For example, Su Sheng suddenly grabbed Laura and pressed it on the table, tweeting his hands and tearing his uniform. Laura was shocked instantly. She tried to break free, but suddenly felt an electric current from Su Sheng's hand, causing her to tremble and lose her strength. When your mother was a superhero back then, she wore a uniform like this, was pressed on the table, and then. What? Humiliation. Anger. Laura felt a sense of powerlessness. From the moment she put on her uniform and wanted to become a hero, she had never been so powerless before, and she had never expected such an encounter. She could only shed tears uncontrollably while letting the demon behind her be unscrupulous. It took a long time for the numb Laura to feel that the devil had finally left. She sat down slowly along the table, numbly watching Su Sheng moving the chair in front of her. It's painful. Your mother was just like you back then. But you are luckier than her. Do you know why? Because you think I'm a bad person, it seems reasonable for me to do this, but the person who treated your mother the same way back then superhero, even your mother's partner, teammate. She is more painful and desperate than you, don't you, do not want revenge. Who is it? Laura suddenly raised her head and asked. The comedian may also be called the laughter. Su Sheng chuckled lightly. Ten inches it's him. After personal experience, Laura can better understand the pain of her mother back then, and she is even more angry. Believe me, it's nothing. Su Sheng said again like a devil that made Laura even more shocked. Do you know who your biological father is? That's right, it's him. This is impossible. Laura exclaimed excitedly. From the time that happened to your mother being pregnant with you is indeed unlikely, but that's the truth. Your mother actually got involved with him again after experiencing that kind of thing. Superhero. Ha ha ha. Su Sheng got up and walked out. Boom. The door closed slowly, and Laura collapsed completely on her stomach. Su Sheng didn't care about Laura after returning to the villa. He picked up the book and started learning by himself. He had switched from biology to electronic engineering. He wanted to try if he could make a battle like Iron Man. Suit. Su Sheng, who was obsessed with learning unknowingly, realized that it was late, and when he walked out of the room, Valentina and Lily didn't seem to be back. Seeing a woman in Soviet military uniform leaving at the door, Su Sheng shouted and asked casually. Go and ask when they will be back. The lady hesitated slightly, and then walked towards the phone in the living room. Step by step. As she passed by Su Sheng's side, she seemed to accidentally trip over the carpet because of being too nervous, and rushed towards Su Sheng. Boom. The female soldier fell directly to the ground. She raised her head and looked at Su Sheng who retreated in disbelief. Shouldn't you hold me under normal circumstances? Seeing her surprised expression, Su Sheng smiled slightly. Are you okay? No, it's okay. So why don't you get up and call? The female soldier lowered her head and slowly got up. At the moment she stood up, her left arm suddenly turned like a rock and attacked Su Sheng. His face is getting closer. Just when the rock-like fist was about to hit Su Sheng, the female soldier was shocked to find that his face had changed. The original skin instantly turned into a rock, and it felt, like the change in my left arm. Boom. When the female soldier was stunned, her fist had already hit the opponent, and a heavy impact sounded instantly. Two hard stones collided with each other. Su Sheng stayed there, but the female soldier stepped back a few steps. Nice ability. Su Sheng returned his face to normal, his hands turned into rocks and looked at it with interest and said, if you come earlier, maybe Laura will be even worse. You, how? The female soldier was stunned and subconsciously transformed her body elements. Her body gradually grew taller. At the moment it was only a few meters tall. At the moment, it was over two meters, and the hat came off. With long purple hair, the left side of the upper body turned into a rock, and the right side was a golden substance like magma. The right leg of the lower body was slightly purple, which seemed normal, but the left side was like a dead tree trunk. 
At first glance it looks like a patchwork of different objects. It can change color, control density, and also control element and body file size. I see, it can also generate heat and control ice and water. Your ability has a lot of tricks. Su Sheng said with interest. I didn't expect to get a new ability so suddenly. You are not from the Watchmen, so you are from the CIA of the United States. Are you here for the Silk Soul Laura? Did they know you have such an ability? Quote. How can you have my ability? The female soldier looked at Su Sheng in shock. Could this person steal someone else's ability? No, it's not right, it should be a copy, did he copy my ability? Don't ask why, I just know how to use it, do I still need to tell you more? Su Sheng shook his head and chuckled. It's you, what's your name? Humph. Even if you stole my ability, you are not my opponent. The female soldier recovered quickly after being shocked. It took her a long time to master the application of ability. It was impossible for him to copy his ability just now. So proficient, so, it must be me who wins. Must fight quickly. The female soldier rushed to Su Sheng again 743 times. It seems we can't have a good chat. Su Sheng also moved. Unlimited stacking, five times. He didn't do so many tricks like the other party, just the whole body was rocky. The floor suddenly collapsed, Su Sheng rushed out in an instant, punching. Fist to fist. Boom. With a loud noise, the body of the female soldier flew out directly through the wall and flew into the courtyard. The female soldier who landed was about to get up but suddenly found that Su Sheng had come in front of her. Handling me is the worst decision you have ever made in your life, because what I am best at is crushing you with your ability. Su Sheng smiled brightly, and his rocky fists banged directly down. Boom. A muffled sound sounded. Su Sheng raised her fist and saw that she had fainted and her body gradually returned to normal. Out. What happened? The guards panicked questioning sounded. Ask Valentina when they will come back. Su Sheng said casually, pulling the fainted female soldier to the basement again. Creak. The basement door opened, and Laura sitting on the ground suddenly looked up in panic and saw Su Sheng walking in with a female soldier. Boom. Su Sheng put the female soldier on the table far away from Laura and then turned around and went out. What happened? Laura was dumbfounded for a while before she slowly got up and wanted to walk towards the female soldier. As a result, she immediately retracted when she heard the sound when she got up. Like a frightened bird. The door opened, and Su Sheng glanced at Laura with the mantra lasso, and searched the female soldier for himself before he tied her up and threw her to the ground. This military uniform should have been prepared deliberately, very cautiously, leaving nothing to prove his identity. Ha <laughs> ha. The female soldier was thrown on the ground and woke up faintly. As soon as she opened her eyes, she saw the embarrassed Laura. Are you Silk Soul Laura? Don't worry, I'm here to save you. Laura said nothing. Help me. How can you save me when you are like this? Speaking of which, why didn't you take the opportunity to escape? The door is unlocked. Su Sheng asked Laura curiously. Laura was silent. Even if she is lucky enough to leave here and return to the United States, how will she face her mother, how will she face the comedian? What he did to his mother made Laura want to kill him, but, but he turned out to be his biological father. This complicated and ambivalent emotion made her unable to make a decision at all, so she evaded. So she didn't leave. Su Sheng just asked casually, and quickly transferred his interest to the female soldier. The poor female soldier wanted to use ability to break away from the rope, but it's okay to transform, want to break free. It's hard. Mantra lasso is not so easy to break free. Speaking of which, Diana has become the new god of war, so the influence of the mantra lasso on her should be ignored, right? Su Sheng shook his head slightly, it seemed that the previous worries were unnecessary, otherwise he would not think of her for the first time in such a long time. What's your name? Su Sheng asked the female soldier with a smile. Emily. Emily Song. She answered the question with horror and resistance. Identity. Code element. Element woman, which belongs to the Central Intelligence Agency of the United States. Element woman. Did they know your ability? How did your ability come from? Su Sheng asked again. Emily Song slowly spoke reluctantly. She was originally just an ordinary CIA agent, and later participated in the secret experiment of the government agency, M-Project, 
and acquired ability, and then continued to perform some more special and dangerous tasks in the CIA. This kind of government secret experiment is not uncommon in Marvel, 600th World. What makes Su Sheng interested is that the birth of this experimental project is actually related to the Justice Society. The Justice Society was born during the Second World War. It was composed of Shi Sha, Steel Commander, Obsidian, Stairgirl, Midnight Doctor, and Vixen. In 1956, most of the members were killed in a mission, which led to the dissolution of the Justice Society. But the fact is that Vixen joined the legendary squad of the Second Camp, and other members were sent to different times in order to protect the fragments of the Gun of Destiny. Although the Justice Society was disbanded, related research began. How can ordinary people gain super ability? Although the success rate of this experiment is very low according to Element Woman, it is barely a success. You. Emily Song watched Su Sheng stunnedly as she untied the weird rope that bound her, and didn't react for a moment. Are you here to save her? Take her away. Su Sheng said casually. Emily Song looked at Su Sheng suspiciously, so let them go. Seeing Su Sheng's non-fake expression, she turned to Laura and said, let's go. Laura didn't move. Emily Song thought she was injured or weak, so she reached out to help her. But she actually avoided it. You. Emily looked at Laura inexplicably. Laura shook her head slightly. Thank you for taking the risk to save me, but. I don't want to leave yet. Are you crazy? Do you stay here and be tortured by him if you don't leave? Emily Song shouted in surprise. Laura was silent for a while and still shook her head. I need to stay and think about it and figure out some things. Are you really not leaving? Laura shook her head. Good. Emily Song turned to look at Su Sheng. She won't go, can I go? Definitely. Su Sheng pointed to the door. Emily Song left without hesitation. Coming out of the basement, seeing that Su Sheng really didn't stop her, Emily Song left the villa cautiously. She wanted to go back as soon as possible and report Su Sheng's situation to her boss. Someone could copy other people's ability, and, and there was no need at all. The time mastered can even exert a stronger power. Such people are too dangerous. It must be figured out how his ability works, and it must be, controlled. Emily Song left the Soviet Union as quickly as possible and returned to the United States. She saw the CIA's boss report the incident, but instead of waiting for an order that she paid attention to, she went to jail instead. The reason is very simple. Some people suspect that she has not completed the mission to send false information at all, and it is very likely that she has betrayed. Sounds ridiculous, right? But some people don't believe that Laura will refuse to leave after being kidnapped and experienced torture, nor that there will be a special ability like Su Sheng, who can copy the opponent's ability instantly, even stronger than the original ability, is this possible? If there is such an ability, it is impossible to have no clues, right? What's more, what else can he shine, the rope that can tell the truth? It sounds like a fantasy. The most important thing is that Emily Song couldn't explain why Su Sheng didn't kill her or shut her down, but just let her go. Now is the critical moment of the Cold War. Emily Song is unable to explain or prove, and her identity is very sensitive, so it is logical to be locked up for review. Emily Song was wronged. Under normal circumstances, even if she didn't kill her, she would not be able to let her go so easily in order to keep her secret, but Su Sheng did just that. Su Sheng really didn't deliberately cheat her, because he didn't care about confidentiality at all. What happens even if someone knows it? At best, it's just to copy a few more abilities. The bright moonlight swayed the earth. Gulag camp. The power grid is towering high. Searchlights with almost no dead ends and Soviet soldiers patrolling back and forth make this place tightly guarded and difficult to fly. In a room on the top floor of the building, Su Sheng stood at the window and looked at the open space below. A month ago, they moved in the day after Element Woman Emily Song left. Anyway, the big hole on the wall of the villa could not be repaired in a short time, and the day when the legendary team was arrested is getting closer and closer. Moved here directly. Although it is known as a hell-level prison with no access to it, for Su Sheng and the others, it is no different from living in a villa. There are arrangements for what you want, what you want to eat, and what books you want to read. The Firestorm Project's laboratory is here, and Valentina stays there to conduct various studies almost every day. 
Lely is even more focused on the study of interrogation skills. There are ready-made prisoners for her to experiment, and it can be said that she is making rapid progress. Su Sheng saw it several times when he was bored, and the brutal and cold-blooded Queen Fan became stronger and stronger. They are very engaged, but Su Sheng is a little boring. Although the storytelling has its own golden house in Yan Ruyu in the book, after learning the basics of physics and electronic engineering, Su Sheng lost his previous enthusiasm for learning. Boom. There was a knock on the door. Come in. Su Sheng turned around 470 in response. Two soldiers came in pressing down on Laura. Go down. Su Sheng waved his hand, and the two soldiers turned around and closed the door by the way. Since they all moved to the Gulag camp, Laura, who had not left with Emily Song but had nowhere to go, was naturally brought over. Su Sheng asked Valentina to arrange a single cell for her. Then again, if Lai Li had her official holiday and mentioned Laura today, Su Sheng would have forgotten her. Laura was wearing a clean prison uniform, and her face was relatively clean, but she didn't have the confidence and heroism that she had when we first met, and she felt very numb and mournful. A good superhero seems to be tortured very miserably. Su Sheng smiled and turned and walked towards Laura. Laura's subconscious retreat looked terrified and resisted. Don't move, Su Sheng whispered. Laura stopped and begged, you, what do you want to do? What do you mean? Su Sheng grabbed Laura's hand and pulled directly onto the bed, screaming for mercy quickly rang. Da da da. The sound of high heels sounded in the corridor, and Valentina, whose face was full of excitement, walked quickly to Su Sheng's room. Before getting close to her, she heard the screams inside, and her pace slowed down for a moment. Lily. No, this is not Lily's voice. Could it be other female prisoners? It's impossible. After all, he didn't even touch him. How could he go looking for the tortured and improper female prisoners? Oh, it's her. Valentina remembered. Standing at the door, Valentina hesitation for a moment or pushed the door in. After all, other things can be waited for, this matter can't be waited. Something. Su Sheng frowned and asked Valentina. Valentina nodded. As you said, the legendary team really came. I caught Martin Stein, Heatwave Microly and Adam Ray Palmer. It's finally here. Su Sheng said with a smile. You will entertain them first, and I will go there later. Hurry up. Valentina glanced at the tearful Laura and she didn't understand. She knew that something like this would happen before she refused to leave. Does the United States superhero have problems with her head? This can't be fast. Vanda Savage is here too. Valentina said and turned and went out. The screams continued to sound. It passed after an hour of swaying. Su Sheng put on his clothes and glanced at the numb and embarrassed Laura with a chuckle and said, I'm about to leave here, do you think about following me? Laura didn't speak, but her sluggish eyes rolled slightly. Boom. With the sound of closing doors, Su Sheng casually found someone to lead the way to see the legendary team after he came out. Trial room. Su Sheng pushed the door in. Adam and Heatwave were hung up to be subjected to electric shocks, and Vandal Savage and Valentina were persuading Martin Stein to surrender the firestorm equation. It's so lively, am I not late? Su Sheng smiled and waved to Roar. Su Sheng. Why are you here? Great, are you here to save us? The three of the legendary team were shocked when Su Sheng suddenly appeared. They were desperate and hoped instantly. Although it was a bit unpleasant before, after all, she had dealt with him, not to mention that Sarah's relationship with him is not ordinary. It must be Sarah who asked him for help, so he will show up here, right? After all, Su Sheng's strength is so strong, is it not easy to save them out? Before the joy of the rest of his life had time to spread, it seemed that Vandal Savage and Valentina weren't surprised, and even there was no surprise roar outside. You came just right. Vandal Savage smiled at Su Sheng. This stubborn old man is handed over to you. Okay. Su Sheng responded with a smile. What's the situation? The three of the legendary team were blinded. What? How does it sound like they are in the same group? Su Sheng, you. Adam just wanted to ask angrily, when Su Sheng pointed at him casually. Sizzle. The electric current, which is stronger than before, hits Adam instantly. These two are useless, let them go. Su Sheng said casually. Let it go. Are you sure? Vandal Savage asked hesitation. Without them, this old man would not easily cooperate. He will. 
Su Sheng smiled brightly and looked at Martin Stein. Do you agree? Martin Stein looked at Su Sheng suspiciously, wondering whether he should believe him or not, maybe he has any plan to save people. Regardless, at least let the two of them leave. Thinking of this, he nodded. As you said, if you let them go, I will cooperate with you. Look, how easy it is. Su Sheng smiled and clapped his hands. Vandal Savage didn't know whether he should believe Su Sheng, he looked at Valentina, and he nodded slightly. Let them go. Vandal Savage gave a whisper, and soon Adam and Heatwave were untied and taken out, directly out of the Gulag camp. After Adam and Heatwave were taken out, Su Sheng dragged the blackboard not far away in front of Martin Stein. Firestorm's equation, write it down. Martin Stein was stunned. Really, really want to write. Su Sheng patted his shoulder and chuckled. Write it, let you go when you finish writing. You should know the consequences if they get the Firestorm formula. Martin Stein said solemnly. Su Sheng nodded. You should know that I am more terrible than him. Is Vandal Savage scary? Horrible. But Su Sheng was not only scary, it was even more desperate, especially after he got the time ship. Martin Stein's expression couldn't help changing, and finally desperately picked up the pen and wrote on the blackboard. This is it. Watching Martin Stein finish writing Valentina excitedly. I have never seen such a short but perfect equation, but, it seems that something is missing. Martin Stein was a little guilty and didn't speak. It's really amazing. Su Sheng sighed and nodded. With his current knowledge, it would take at least 10 years to complete this equation by himself. You are indeed a genius. No, there's still something missing. Valentina felt wrong as she looked at her, frowning and said in a deep voice. You send her out, and then go to the laboratory to wait for me. Su Sheng said to Valentina. Valentina was stunned. Do you know what is missing? Definitely. Good. Valentina nodded in response. No. Vandal Savage snorted looking at Su Sheng. What do you do if you let them all go without telling me the last link of the equation? He wants to stay and wait until Firestorm is successfully produced before letting him go. You won't give me face. Su Sheng squinted at Vandal Savage. Vandal Savage said coldly, I have given you enough face, but not this time. Then you are going to die. Su Sheng said, just do it, and the electric current flicked out instantly. Boom. The electric current hit Vandal Savage, but Vandal Savage was unscathed. What do you think I have been doing during this time? Vandal Savage opened the windbreaker triumphantly, and actually wore a special discharge suit inside. This is something I specially prepared for you, even if the electric current is several times larger than before, it will keep me safe. Su Sheng looked at Vandal Savage softly and said with some entanglement, you make it difficult for me to handle it. No, it's not difficult at all. As long as you succeed in creating Firestorm for me, I will let this old man go. Vandal Savage shook his head triumphantly. Su Sheng thought for a while and slowly raised his hands. Which side do you choose? What do you mean? Vandal Savage asked in a daze. Choose one. Su Sheng asked without explanation. What tricks are you playing? Vandal Savage looked at Su Sheng suspiciously and said casually, left. Is it on the left? Okay. Su Sheng put down his right hand and pointed his left hand to Vandal Savage. 10,000 volts. Boom. The electric giant python jumped out instantly and swallowed Vandal Savage directly. In the electric light, in the belly of the snake, you can clearly see that Vandal Savage's discharge suit exploded in an instant, and after a few more seconds, he slowly fell to the ground, his body exuding a thick smell of burnt coke. How much bigger? I have no upper limit for electric current. Su Sheng shook his head and wiped the firestorm matrix on the blackboard, turned his head to the dumbfounded Valentina and Martin Stein and said, What are you doing in a daze, let's go. Valentina hesitation took Martin Stein out for a moment. Leaving the interrogation room and returning to the room, Lily was packing her things, and Laura stood silently on the side. Master, things will be packed soon. Lily turned her head. Su Sheng chuckled. You are more and more satisfied with me now. I didn't say that you know what to do. The disciple is on the roof. Pack up and wait for me on the roof. Are you going to help Valentina become Firestorm? Lily said hesitation hesitation. Firestorm needs two people to succeed, right? The other one. What? Do you have an idea? Su Sheng looked at Lily with a smile. Lily nodded courageously. 
Lily and Valentina. The female version of Firestorm seems to be good too, but I don't know whose body is used as the main body, or can I change it? Go to the laboratory to find me after sending things. Su Sheng said and turned and left. Yeah. Lily shouted excitedly at the numb Laura. What are you still doing, help me get things. Valentina took Martin Stein out of the camp and hurried to the laboratory to readjust the equation and set up the reactor. Valentina looked at Su Sheng who was walking by and asked, tell me, what else is missing? Partner. Su Sheng smiled lightly. Partner. Valentina was stunned and suddenly reacted. It turned out to be like this, two people. Firestorm is two people. Only in this way can the energy be stabilized. Do you want to fit me? Su Sheng shook his head slightly and looked at Laili who trot over. Your partner is here. Lily. No wonder, it was her. Valentina suddenly realized. As soon as Laili came over, Valentina couldn't wait to pull her into the experimental furnace where the reactor was placed. The power was adjusted to the maximum, and the fiery red reactor in the reactor lit up. The two of them stroked the reactor while touching each other. Boom. The scorching fire wave instantly flooded the reactor. The door opened slowly, seeing Valentina walking out in flames. The female version of Firestorm, it's a success. It's great, this power is really great. Valentina said excitedly. Okay, look back and find a place to refresh you, now it's time to go. Su Sheng said casually. 3.5. Go. No, I won't go, I want to help my country defeat the United States. Valentina finished speaking and arrogantly fired a ball of flames at Su Sheng. Boom. The flame hit Su Sheng and instantly burned, seeming to engulf Su Sheng. Do not. She suddenly yelled, and the fire was instantly extinguished. The next moment, Firestorm became Valentina and Lily again. Owner. As Lily shouted and was about to run over, the flame on Su Sheng suddenly changed. The flames gradually converged, and among his hands and head, his eyes were red like demons crawling out of hell. Fire. Firestorm. You, how could you become Firestorm alone? Valentina shouted in surprise. The scorching sensation approached, but Valentina didn't seem to feel it at all, looking at Su Sheng who became Firestorm in shock. Impossible, the equation is correct, one person cannot bear the energy of the reactor, you cannot be a Firestorm alone. Don't understand. Then don't understand. Anyway, there are too many things you don't understand. Su Sheng looked at Laili after speaking. Lily walked to Valentina and touched it lightly, and in an instant the two became Firestorm again. This time it was Lily who became the subject. Gone. Su Sheng smiled and waved his hands down, soaring into the air directly through the roof, Laili followed closely. In this way, the two penetrated the wall layer by layer, came to the roof and entered the disciple. Laura was shocked when she saw Su Sheng and Laili who were full of fire. Su Sheng withdrew from the state of firestorm, and Laili and Valentina were also relieved. Do not. Valentina seemed to know what was going to happen and hurriedly wanted to leave, but the disciple had already started up slowly. Under the night sky, Vandal Savage was yelling at the disciple in the clearing of the camp. Goodbye. Su Sheng pressed a lightly on the console, and he heard a swish. A missile was launched directly from the disciple. After a while, there was a loud bang, and the gulag camp was instantly plunged into a sea of flames. Poor Vandal Savage died just after he was resurrected. The legendary squad was saved, and the future firestorm crisis was lifted. Su Sheng piloted the disciple to disappear from the night sky. Time flows. A long river of dark green time, this long river represents all points in time. Su Sheng stopped the disciple here, turned around and got up from the chair. In addition to Lai Li's preparation, Laura and Valentina experienced the side effects of traveling through time for the first time. Clean up by yourself in a while. Su Sheng glanced at what she found from Lai Li's package and went inside. He intends to make a collection room on the disciple. Whether it's a book or something interesting from all generations, after all, we are also considered cultural people now, right? After a while, Lily came over. Do you feel empty? Feeling Lily coming over, Su Sheng said casually looking at the collection room with only a few lonely books. If the master wants, it will fill up soon. Lily thought for a while and said. When I was in the gulag camp, I found that many people like to collect their own trophies, maybe the owner can do the same. Boots. 
I'm not interested. Su Sheng shook his head and glanced at Laili with a chuckle. But you reminded me that maybe I can hang a picture of a woman who has slept here. In case there is no new pillow, I can pick which one to replace. This, isn't this bad. Laili said in a daze. What's wrong? This is my ship, my collection room, who would dare to come in without my permission? Who can come in? Su Sheng asked casually. Lily shook her head and said, no one. That's incredible. The heart is worse than the action. Since Su Sheng is interested, he will do what he says. Before long, a shooting spot appeared in the corner of the collection room. Li Li changed back to her original dress, holding a hand card in her hands and changing postures for Su Sheng to shoot. The hand card not only has the name, the code, and even the serial number, which is similar to taking file photos of prisoners when they are in jail. It feels that in the end, the same pose was taken with a more detailed content. Name, Lily. Code name, one of Firestorm. Number, four. From the era, 1871. Location, Redemption Town, Dakota. With these, it will be much more convenient when you need substitutes. Su Sheng nodded with satisfaction looking at the picture framed and hung on the wall after washing out. The pictures are in standard dress. As for the more detailed pictures, I leave them on the camera. Is used for secondary screening. Go and bring Laura over. In addition, I remember that there are equipment for making clothes on the spacecraft, so she can get her own uniform to put on. Yes. Lily turned and left, and soon took Laura over and took a picture. Name. Laura Juspexic. Code name. Silk Soul 2. Number. 5. From the era. 1985. Location. The United States. Seeing Laura's photo hanging behind her, and there are still a few spaces left in front, Laylee understands the meaning of the number. It should be arranged according to the time when she became a Su Sheng woman, right? In other words, there are only three in front of you. This made Lily feel very incredible, she thought that the master's character should be many. Finish. Now you can think about where to go next. Su Sheng smiled and put away the camera, but the disciple suddenly shook violently. What happened? Did Valentina do something? Boom. There was a loud noise, and the disciple shook again. It should have been attacked. Su Sheng turned and went out. Sure enough, Valentina was a little panicked while leaning on the chair, and the situation of the disciple was displayed on the console. Several spaceships were attacking outside, and the defensive barrier of the spaceship was about to be broken. Depend on. Su Sheng just wanted to go to the pilot's seat to prepare for a counterattack, but there was a loud noise from the spaceship again. The defensive barrier was broken. No artificial intelligence is trouble. It seems that I have to get one when I look back. Su Sheng muttered, the disciple number has fallen from the flow of time. Unknown time, unknown location. Boom. There was a loud noise from the bumpy disciple, and the violent vibration caused Valentina, Lily and Laura to fall to the ground. Unknown travel is always full of surprises, let's see where this is. Su Sheng chuckled and said to the three people who got up embarrassedly, then turned and walked towards the hatch. The hatch slowly opened. The disciple seemed to have landed at a port, and the bow of the ship was slightly damaged when it reached the pier. From the perspective of the architectural style, it seems to be modern. Su Sheng looked around and looked at the environment, but suddenly heard a roar shout. Su Sheng. The voice is a bit familiar. Su Sheng followed the voice and saw two groups of people standing on the pier of the port, one of them had an acquaintance of his own. Wonder Woman, Diana. I'm going, shouldn't it be such a coincidence? Su Sheng said unclearly, and Valentina, Lily and Laura had already followed behind him. Diana. Lily shouted in surprise. It's number three. Su Sheng jumped and jumped directly onto the pier. It seems that Diana is in trouble. Lily turned to Laura. You stay on the boat, Valentina, we will go over and help. Why? Where is this? I want to go back to the Soviet Union, back to my time. Valentina shouted. I can't help you. When Lily finished speaking, she shot Valentina directly. Valentina turned into Firestorm with Lily before she could escape. The flame suddenly appeared, and Firestorm rose up to Su Sheng's side. Lily. You, why did you become like this? Diana, an acquaintance, was surprised to see Laylee's body burning, let alone other people. Pissed. Su Sheng smiled suddenly. This smile attracted everyone's eyes. 
Are you going to have a family gathering? Su Sheng pointed to the two men and one woman on Diana's side. The man with a crude appearance also holds a baby in his hands. The two women look very casual in jeans, a t-shirt and a plaid shirt, and the other with blonde hair in a pink tube top dress with a pretty ladylike temperament. The demigod Lennox is called by this name, right? And you, what is your name? I really don't remember. I was cheated by the old thief of Zeus 590, right? He gave birth to a son named Zeok, just him the baby I was holding. Su Sheng pointed at the rough man and the girl in shirt, and then looked at the lady. Tisk tisk, here's the point. One of the twelve gods of Olympus, Hera, the queen of heaven, should be the highest standing in your circle. I seem to have told Aris that you want to sleep in night clothes, remember? Hera's face changed slightly. Su Sheng turned his head and looked to the other side, a man and a woman. The man is at least two meters tall, burly and burly, shirtless and wearing primitive armor and cloak, holding a sword in his hand, and having numerous injuries on his body. There is nothing special about women wearing a hooded coat, but the neck seems to be made of metal. Newborn, the first child of Zeus and Hera, there is a prophecy that you will sit on the throne of Zeus on the corpses of the gods. As for the one next to you, Cassandra, who originally had the ability of the word spirit as a result, the adopted brother Lennox tore off his throat and lost ability, so he had to use a mechanical throat to survive. Su Sheng understood their identities and origins like a few treasures, then turned to Diana and said, why did you get involved with them? Where's Donna? Donna she. Diana looked at Hera subconsciously, and said in a deep voice, after I separated from you, Donna went back to Paradise Island. As a result, all the Amazons and Donna were turned into snakes by her, and my mother too. Become a statue. Then why don't you kill her? Su Sheng said casually. No. Diana shook her head and said, the sun god Apollo sat on the throne of Zeus and demoted Hera to a mortal. I need her to help my family return. Can you? Diana suddenly thought of something and looked at Su Sheng expectantly. Su Sheng pointed to the disciple on the dock and didn't speak. Diana's expression couldn't help but darken. Enough. Give me my lovely brother. Cassandra shouted in a deep voice. Don't think about it. Diana said firmly. Then fight. Starting from him, I will kill you one by one and regain the position that should belong to me. The newborn voice walked towards Lennox with a hoarse voice. I've been waiting for this moment for a long time. Lennox returned the child to the girl in the shirt, squeezed a few fingers and fisted towards the newborn. Boom. Newborn's fist hit Lennox's face first, and Lennox shook back slightly. Just as he wanted to continue, he saw a cold light flashing, and the newborn sword ran across his neck. Click. Lennox's head fell to the ground, and his body and head gradually changed, becoming like stones. Lennox. Diana didn't expect to kill the demigod Lennox when he was born. Although he didn't have any powerful ability, his body was harder than a rock, but he didn't expect. Diana's two-handed wristband suddenly lit up, and two swords appeared, and they rushed directly to the newborn like a cannonball. Jingle bells. Fight together fiercely. Is this equipment upgrade? A masterpiece of the Vulcan Hephaestus. Su Sheng mumbled a little unexpectedly and came to Hera's side. How does it feel to become a human being from the Queen of God? Not very good. Hera snorted. You asked for it. The girl in the shirt sneered. Humble little fool, what are you talking about? Hera glared. You are a fool. The two yelled at each other, and if it weren't for the wrong time, I'm afraid both of them would be able to fight. This newborn is so strong, don't you need to help Diana? Laylee asked eagerly. Helping Diana is one aspect, and wanting to try your own ability is also one aspect. If you are not afraid of death, go and chant. This newborn should be the strongest among the old gods. Almost no gods of Olympus are better than him, including Zeus. Even ordinary new gods may have to kneel when they meet him. After all. It's a resentment of 7,000 years, step by step from the depths of the earth's heart, climbing for 7,000 years, how terrible is this resentment? The nameless god, the destroyer of the soul, this is the real godslayer. Su Sheng sighed. Lily was silent. But in her mind she explained to Valentina some things she knew. How do you know this? Hera asked Su Sheng in surprise. I also know that if there is no accident, you will recover your divine power. Su Sheng said casually. What's the accident? Hera asked nervously. My mood. 
You, your mood. Hera stared at Su Sheng. Seeing that Su Sheng didn't mean to speak, she suppressed her thoughts and changed the subject. Aren't you going to help Diana? After all, she is your woman. If I let Diana take pictures, she will agree. Su Sheng asked Lei Li. Lai Li was stunned and hesitated. I'm afraid with her character, I'm afraid she won't agree. Then wait. Su Sheng said casually. Bang bang bang. Diana fought fiercely with newborn on the not so wide pier. She is not an opponent at all. Although her equipment seems to have been upgraded, although she is now a new god of war, from the original demigod to a true god with a clergy or a powerful clergy, she is still not a newborn opponent. Newborn is like a tank on the road, no matter what class of luxury car you are, it will be easily crushed by him. I can't bear to look straight. Su Sheng glanced at it for a while and slightly tilted his head and said to Diana. Promise me a condition, and I will help you solve him. What conditions? What do you want to do? Diana yelled at Su Sheng barely resisting. You just say yes or not. Su Sheng said. You promise to restore my mother and the other people on Paradise Island to their original state, and I will promise you. Su Sheng laughed blankly. You have changed, what a pure child you are. Now you have learned to take the opportunity to increase the price. Agree or not? Diana turned her head and shouted at Su Sheng with her fist thrown down by newborn with both hands. Okay, I promised you. Su Sheng chuckled lightly. HMPH, overwhelmingly. A sneer of disdain came from the side, and Cassandra sneered, Who do you think you are? No one and no god can stop newborn. Before Su Sheng could speak, Lai Li, who was next to her, stunned and went back. Who do you think you are? No one and no god dare to talk to my master like this. When the voice fell, Lily waved his hand as a flame struck Cassandra. Although Cassandra is a demigod, her ability is a word and has been abandoned. Even if she is not abolished, she is just a squad player, facing Firestorm's attack, she can only evade an embarrassment. Lily took advantage to catch up. In midair, she was seen waving her hands and throwing flames to attack Cassandra, Cassandra fled in embarrassment. Quick, come and help me. Diana didn't have time to see Lely's situation, her newborn strength was getting stronger and stronger, she was almost unable to support it. Boom. A loud noise that seemed to shatter the world suddenly came. Su Sheng stood at the position where the newborn was standing and slowly retracted his fists. He looked at the newborn who was glide on the ground and asked Diana with a chuckle. What did you say? So fast. Diana didn't even see Su Sheng's movements clearly, she just felt that her pressure was suddenly lightened and she was beaten out after the newborn. You are getting stronger and stronger. Diana said with a complicated expression. No, I was so strong. Su Sheng chuckled and shook his head. It's just that I have never met an opponent who needs me such a strong. Are the previous enemies too weak? Diana thought that whether it was the goddess of dispute Aris or the god of war Ares, he could easily crush him. He simply couldn't see how strong his full strength was, and where his limits were. The strong wind blew his face, and the newborn in the distance instantly rushed towards Su Sheng with his fist. Su Sheng thumped his fist. The force of the collision of the two fists instantly shook the nearby Diana back a few steps, and the sea water next to it was hanging as high as a waterfall. The ground centered on Su Sheng and newborn was instantly dented, and the two of them fisted to each other, and the time and space seemed to be still the same. It seemed just a moment, and it seemed a long time past. You are about to lose. Su Sheng smiled brightly. Huh. Newborn snorted coldly. Almost at the same time, the two shot again. Newborn's fighting skills are not strong, very primitive, very savage, but power and recovery ability are extremely strong. His divine power carries a very special power, hate, that is hate, the power of hate. This hatred is full of violent, cruel thoughts, as if to punish the gods, as if to destroy the world. War, everything in front of him. Kill, everything in front of him. This hatred, this tyrannical aura made Diana look solemn and worried about Su Sheng, making Hera, the queen of heaven, sit on the ground with limp legs, and the girl in the shirt wanted to turn around and ran. Diana's strength is really inferior to you, even if it is only the power of the demigod period but it is five times less than you, but you are still a scum. Su Sheng's breath changed suddenly after Su Sheng said it, and it was more than the first birth. Strong hatred must roar out. 
This hatred seemed to be turned into an entity, and Diana couldn't help but knelt on the ground and shivered. This hatred changed the colors of the world and the gods on Mount Olympus. You. Newborn's complexion changed. Why is this power so familiar? This is my power. Unlimited stacking, twice. Su Sheng seldom yells like this, because she is the second in high school. But now he feels extremely cheerful. His eyes flashed with excitement, and he directly punched him. Boom. Newborn shook his fist to resist, but the huge amounts of power made him retreat sharply, one step, two steps, and three steps before Su Sheng shook his fist again. The fist slammed into the face of Newborn, causing him to lean to the other side, but before he fell, he was beaten back by another fist by Su Sheng. Boom. 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 Newborn was hit by Su Sheng with double fists like a tumbler. He hit more than ten punches. His face was completely unrecognizable. Although the facial features were still there, the skin on his face was completely gone, and the bright red flesh and blood were directly exposed outside. Su Sheng suddenly jumped up, raised his fist and smashed it down. Boom. Newborn fell to the ground instantly, the ground was sunken, and his body bounced a few times before falling back down again. Not moving at all. Just now, after killing Lennox with a single sword, Diana, who was unable to fight back, was knocked down by Su Sheng. This. What a great strength this is. Really resistant to beating. Su Sheng lowered his head and looked at his injured fist. The injury was quickly repairing at the speed of naked eyes. Su Sheng turned and looked at Diana, who subconsciously lowered her head to avoid his eyes. Are you hiding from me? Su Sheng put away his supernatural power, and the monstrous hatred and pressure disappeared instantly. Diana breathed a sigh of relief and looked over again. The look in your eyes just now was terrible. I won't eat you again, are you afraid of a hammer? Wait, I really seem to be able to eat people. In the newborn ability, there seems to be an ability that acquires language and memory through swallowing. He crawls from the depths of the earth. When he came out, he swallowed a scientist who discovered him because of language barriers and then mastered English. When you live in the eyes of others, you are lost in your own heart. So Su Sheng doesn't mind what others think of him, even if he is a lunatic. He admits it when he is happy, and frustrates it when he is unhappy. He only does what he wants to do. But cannibalism. There is absolutely no such thing on the list of things he will do, just like a woman he can't accept that he is tired of being used by others. Otherwise, why should he take pains to form a raptor team, who has no scruples and do whatever he wants? Why remind Laura to leave? Although this process is quite interesting. Even if you can eat people, remember that you promised me. Su Sheng stretched out his hand to help Diana up and glanced at the slightly convulsive newborn. Jen Nima resisted the beating, he didn't even kill him with twice the strength. Diana didn't go to see the newborn but looked at Lennox with only his head left, and whispered his name in a sad voice. Don't be too sad. Su Sheng faintly comforted him and gently put her on her shoulders and embraced her. Diana didn't refuse. After separating from Su Sheng, a lot of things happened that made her always strong and she almost couldn't bear it. Life is like this, there are joys and tears. Su Sheng patted Diana on the back and said in a deep tone. Some people are mainly responsible for joy, and another part are mainly responsible for tears. You fool. Diana, who was immersed in comfort, instantly realized that this was wrong, and angrily pushed Su Sheng away. Su Sheng shrugged and pointed to newborn. What about this guy, is it going to be killed? Diana had some hesitation. It is reasonable to kill the firstborn to completely solve the crisis of the gods, but after all. Give him to me. A voice rang suddenly nearby, and then I saw a man with a purple skin in a suit and an eggplant smile coming over. He is Apollo, the sun god, and he has become the new king of gods. Diana explained in a low voice to Su Sheng, ignoring her anger. It might be, a good idea to hand over the newborn to him. Are you sure you want? Su Sheng asked Apollo, narrowing his eyes. I am the lord of Olympus now, and I think I have the right to deal with him. I definitely don't want to be an enemy of you, so maybe you can make a request. Apollo smiled. Send you off. Su Sheng waved his hand and emphasized, but remember, this is what you want. Definitely. The smile on Apollo's purple eggplant-like face became brighter and he nodded in gratitude towards Su Sheng and Diana, turned and carried newborn and disappeared. 
If you die by yourself, no one can save it. Su Sheng chuckled lightly, just to see Firestorm flying back in the distance. Landing. The Firestorm state was lifted and instantly became Lily and Valentina. The two looked at each other and snorted with dissatisfaction. I don't agree with each other, so people ran away. Su Sheng asked with a smile. Yes. Lily replied in a low voice. Okay, let's get out of here first. After Su Sheng finished speaking, he jumped back to the disciple. Although Lily and Valentina were both upset, they could only transform and fly over. Diana turned around and handed Lennox's head to Hera, holding her and the girl in the shirt in both hands and preparing to pass. Wait, shall we go with him? And, is it safe? The girl in the shirt hurriedly asked. If he wants to, there should be no safer place than his side. Diana finished speaking and led them directly to jump over. In the disciple number, the girl in the shirt held the child and looked at the environment on the boat in a novel way. Hera was more calm. Somehow, she was also a queen. Lily and Diana chatted with each other about what happened after they separated. Valentina and Laura stood silently, one because of anger and unwillingness, and the other because of shock and confusion. Su Sheng is playing the disciple number. At this time, the benefits of learning are reflected. The application range of electronic engineering is still very wide. Although you may not be able to repair everything, you can at least understand the basic operating principles. After checking, Su Sheng activated the disciple. Back slowly, enter the stealth mode, and then rise into the air. Good luck, except for the slight loss of the defensive barrier and the outer fuselage. There is nothing serious about it. Su Sheng turned his head relaxedly and asked. Do you have a place to stay? Yes. The girl in the shirt hurriedly said an address. After a while, the disciple landed slowly next to a farm in the suburbs. This is my home, no. I lived here before the accident. I don't think anyone will find here for the time being. The girl in the shirt explained, and everyone got off the spaceship and entered the farm. The farm is not very large, and the environment is quite quiet. Su Sheng turned around and returned to the dining room of the disciples after losing interest. Su Sheng picked up a bottle of wine and drank, his thoughts gradually diverging. In all likelihood, the people who attacked the disciple were sent by the Lord of Time Council. First, the way to save the legendary squad by themselves was a change in history. Secondly, the Lord of Time Council and Vandal Savage were stunned by themselves. After playing, I must retaliate. It's a pity that these guys are targeting the disciples instead of themselves. It's a pity that they haven't been able to copy ability. The next time the goal is to find the Flash. Anyway, you can travel through time without waiting. Go directly to the era when he became the Flash and copy the super power, so that in the future, if the Disciple is attacked and cannot travel through time, you don't have to worry about overturning. N.S. So you can copy someone else's ability. Including divine power. Diana's voice sounded at the door. Su Sheng looked up and smiled. Why are you here? Come and talk to you about the future. Diana walked to Su Sheng and wanted to sit down, but Su Sheng grabbed her wrist and took it directly into her arms. After 3.2 struggling for a few times, she gave up without breaking free. What are the conditions you said before? Taking pictures. Su Sheng smiled. Taking pictures. What kind of pictures? You. Su Sheng smiled lightly. The ones who wear clothes and those who don't. You. Diana already knew what the camera meant to take pictures. She subconsciously wanted to refuse under such shameless conditions, but she couldn't say what she had agreed to before. Come with me. Su Sheng smiled and got up and took Diana to his collection room. The collection room was empty, with only a few books lying alone on the shelves. As soon as Diana followed Su Sheng in, she saw a picture of Laili and Laura. She was wearing a uniform and holding a hand card. The name code and other detailed information were also recorded on the hand card. She reacted instantly and said annoyedly, you let me take this. I won't take it. Why can't you try to respect others? Especially women. Trust me, it's the best respect to hang the photo here. Su Sheng walked to the shooting spot with a chuckle, wrote his hand and handed it to Diana. Take it, ready to shoot. Name, Diana. Code name, Wonder Woman. Number, 3. From the era, 1917. Location, Paradise Island. Diana looked at the contents of the cards in her hand and shook her head at Su Sheng. 
I won't shoot this for you to hang on the wall and become your show-off collection. Su Sheng stood in front of Diana and shook his head slightly and said with a chuckle 10. Actually, I have many ways to force you to shoot, but I don't want to do this, so I negotiated with you. I helped you solve the new birth and promised to restore the people on the Paradise Island to the original state, and you also agreed. You said I don't respect women. At least I respect you in this matter, right? So. Su Sheng walked up to Diana and dragged her hand to let her hold the card, then stepped back and raised the camera. Diana tried to avoid her but her feet seemed to be unwilling. She thought that she had indeed promised Su Sheng, and thought of the mothers and people on the Paradise Island waiting to be rescued. In the end, she silently cooperated with Su Sheng's shooting. Uniformed and, undressed. Su Sheng slowly put down the camera and came to Diana's face. Get out of the way, I want to put on clothes. Diana lowered her head and said solemnly. Do you know, I almost thought I liked you. Su Sheng hooked Diana's chin to make her raise her head. Later I learned that you are not my flower, I just happened to get your bloom. You, what do you want to say? Diana was a little flustered inexplicably. Su Sheng chuckled and didn't speak but slowly kissed her. Obviously his movements are very slow and he can easily avoid it, but Diana can't move as if her body has been enchanted. She can only watch him approaching her gently as if tasting blooming flowers. Gentle. Diana had an incredible feeling subconsciously, he would be gentle with himself. If he still forced herself as before, Diana would not resist hesitation, even if the final result could not be changed, she would still do so. But now, under Su Sheng's gentle offensive, she lost the ability to resist, and she could only slowly fall. In a trance, I don't know how long it took, and Diana felt as if she had a dream. The eyes are facing each other. Diana silently picked up the armor and put it on, and left without saying a word. She didn't know what to say. In the past, she could confidently say that she was forced by Su Sheng, but just now. Ten minutes later, the well-dressed Su Sheng hung Diana's photo in front of Laili and stopped to admire it for a moment before turning around. Go out from the disciple and sit on the stairs of the cabin door. In the dim sky, Firestorm is arrogantly flying. The girl in the shirt is not far away holding the child and Diana is watching Firestorm in the sky. The silent Laura chatting seems to want to inquire about her own news, but Laura already knows very little, not to mention that she can't figure out what she is playing silently now. It's not bad to enjoy this peaceful feeling occasionally. Su Sheng mumbled lightly and looked at the firestorm in the night sky. At the moment, a ray of light suddenly appeared from the night sky and galloped in the direction here. What is that? The girl in the shirt pointed at Guang Guang and said in surprise. Diana was ready for battle with a solemn expression, and Firestorm flew back from a distance. This. This is my supernatural power. Just when the others were ready to fight, the Queen Hera suddenly yelled in excitement. Your divine power. Isn't your divine power taken away by the sun god Apollo? Why? Diana subconsciously looked at Hera and reacted instantly. He has an accident, he is a newborn. Only if something happened to the sun god Apollo he would return the divine power to Hera. Hera opened her arms excitedly, she was fed up with the feeling of being a fragile human being. I am the queen. I am Hera the queen of heaven. She closed her eyes and waited excitedly for the return of the divine power, but, after waiting for a few minutes, there was no response. This made Hera subconsciously want to see what happened, but as soon as she opened her eyes, she saw Su Sheng standing in front of her, holding a ball of light that symbolized her supernatural power in her hand. Give me back. Hera stretched out her hand excitedly but was easily avoided by Su Sheng, instead she fell to the ground by herself. She ignored her embarrassment and raised her head and shouted at Su Sheng. This is my supernatural power, what do you want to do in 357? Su Sheng ignored her but studied this supernatural power. Divine power can be tangible. For example, Diana's divine power is golden energy, Ares's divine power is thunder, and the firstborn divine power. It's not easy to say that powerful hatred can also be turned into an entity and exposed to the body. But this group of divine power is somewhat different, it is similar to the source but different. Su Sheng walked to Laura and threw the divine power at her. Laura subconsciously wanted to escape, but found that this divine power floated through her body. 
Can't it? Su Sheng thought for a while and grabbed it back and walked towards Diana. Herod jumped over again but Su Sheng pinched her neck with one hand and couldn't get close for an instant. He pinched Hera with one hand, and Su Sheng pushed the divine power towards Diana with the other hand. Mine, that's mine. Hera yelled vigorously. Diana entered Diana's body, and Diana closed her eyes subconsciously. Is there a show? Su Sheng asked curiously, his eyes lit up. How? Are you a diva now? After a while, Diana shook her head. No, I don't have this priesthood. Kill her. Su Sheng raised Hera. According to previous experience, you can get her priesthood by killing her, right? Get her source. Hera's expression suddenly became frightened. She was demoted to a mortal by the sun god Apollo, who was sitting on the throne of the king of gods, and she did not panic, because she was the queen Hera, and her high status for a long time made her not think that humans could harm her, but Su Sheng was different. When she was still the queen of heaven, she had seen how Su Sheng killed Aris in seconds and crushed Aris. Just before, she had seen the unmatched firstborn being beaten by him without any power to fight back. He wants to kill himself, Hera is really scared. Because he was unscrupulous and didn't take God seriously. Didn't I promise you to help the people on Paradise Island restore to their original state? As long as you become a queen, you can do what she can do, and you can still do what she can't. Not only can you save the Paradise Island, maybe it can defeat the firstborn and save the gods. Su Sheng smiled lightly at Diana. Apollo, the sun god, did his own death. He brought the newborn to Olympus. There are many gods waiting for him to kill, so that he can become stronger. Kill Hera and become a queen, you have a chance to defeat newborn. Do not. Diana simply refused. Why? Sacrificing one person to save more people, I can't do this kind of thing. Diana said solemnly. What's more, I think your purpose of encouraging me to become a queen is not simple. He is indeed a little careful, if Diana becomes a queen, it means that the value of his collection has risen. Su Sheng smiled. You know me well now, you are almost catching up with Lily. Often the only people who know you best are the enemies. Diana snorted towards Hera. I will let him let you go and return the divine power to you, but you must promise me to restore the Paradise Island to its original state. I, I promise you. Hera hurriedly said. Do you know why others dare to offend you? Su Sheng looked at Diana and said slowly. Because it is simple, innocent, low-minded, low-handed, not bad, and righteous, there is no burden to offend someone like you. After speaking, Su Sheng let go of Hera. Hera sat slumped on the ground, and then saw the divine power float out of Diana's body and penetrate into Hera's body. In an instant, the thunder flickered. Several waves of thunder fell from the sky to illuminate the night sky, Hera slowly got up in the light, and a breath that surpassed the sky and the earth exploded. The skirt on her body disappeared, and she was replaced by a peacock cloak with a simple green cloth under the cloak. Strips conceal characteristic parts. The gods on Mount Olympus are either prostitutes or fool. Su Sheng curled his lips and turned and prepared to return to the disciple. Where are you going? The thunder flickered, and Hera asked Su Sheng in a deep voice. Su Sheng stopped walking and turned his head and cast a glance, slowly raising his fist. You might die if I punch you. Ah. Uh, this glance made Hera honest, and the thunder disappeared. Pissed. The girl in the shirt couldn't help laughing. Bai Kai is bit Kai, so you dare not avenge you when you are scared. What are you talking about? You little fool. Hera instantly angrily went back. Enough. Diana yelled. Hera, let's go to Paradise Island first, and then. She looked up at the sky. If things are as Su Sheng said, then it will be really troublesome. The people who were going to rest one after another boarded the disciple, and the disciple was activated and went straight to Paradise Island. Coming to Paradise Island again, the disciple slowly landed from the sky. When everyone came down, they saw the stone statue kneeling in the center of the square. Hippolyte. She was surrounded by dense snakes, and she looked very excited. These snakes are Amazon warriors. Hera. Diana looked at Hera in a deep voice. Hera was a little reluctant, but she still used her magical power to cast her magic, a flash of light flashed, and all her shots turned back to the original Amazon warrior. Diana greeted her sister excitedly. Queen, why didn't the queen recover? Suddenly someone shouted in surprise, and Diana realized that her mother was still in the form of a statue. 
Hera. Diana looked at Hera angrily. Hera said with a stunned look. It's none of my business, I used to release magic like this. It's really none of your business. Diana said suspiciously. Hera glanced at Su Sheng next to her and said. I don't have to lie to you. Then what's going on? Diana was at a loss. She thought that Hera's regaining power would restore her mother and the others, but now even Hera can't do it. She didn't know what to do, and subconsciously looked at Su Sheng. Owner. The Amazon warriors suddenly knelt down towards them all together. Hera proudly said, a smart choice, but it still can't save your queen. It is indeed not my job. There was silence, no one responded. Hera was about to continue speaking when she heard a lazy voice next to her. Get up. Ha ha. The Amazon warrior stood up. Hera looked at Su Sheng awkwardly, and almost forgot that Su Sheng had enslaved the Paradise Island. It was not her who was kneeling at all. She is now a little scared and angry with Su Sheng. What should I do now? Diana asked Su Sheng without any idea. Have you not found that there is one missing person? Su Sheng looked around and said casually. Donna. Diana reacted instantly. Donna separated from her and returned to Paradise Island. When she came back, she found that everyone had become snakes and thought that Donna was too, but now there is no Donna. It seems that besides Hera, Paradise Island has other enemies. Su Sheng said lightly. Newborns are likely to attack Paradise Island. Hippolyte hasn't recovered you. The princess is now the queen. Let's do a good job of protection first. In addition, tell me the address of Hephaestus, the god of fire. What are you going to do? Look for him to help my disciple number upgrade. Su Sheng said casually. After all, the disciple is only the standard spaceship of the Lord of Time. The attack also exposed some problems. Hephaestus is the god of fire and forging. Many of the gods, equipment was created by him, and it should be able to upgrade the disciple. Upgrade. Diana told Su Sheng the address, hesitation said, go and come back, I. Paradise Island needs you. Mount Etna, where the god Hephaestus lives. As one of the twelve gods of Olympus, Vulcan was also born of Zeus and Hera, and was the half-brother of Diana. When Diana was born, he helped Diana build several kinds of equipment, including the sword of Godkiller. In terms of forging equipment, Vulcan is indeed second to none. However, he is really long and cannot be described by his ugly appearance. It is simply ugly, a bit like the dwarf in many stories, and has no sense of God at all. When Su Sheng saw him, he was wearing an apron, and his hands were red full on certain equipment. Are you Su Sheng? Vulcan looked at the disciple number that came directly from the top of his head and then looked at Su Sheng coming down from the disciple number, and asked calmly. Can you get this time ship? Su Sheng asked straightforwardly. There is chaos on Mount Olympus. Vulcan said slowly. There is no difference between God and man, and even God is worse than man. Although I have never participated in these power struggles, I hope to end this as soon as possible and restore peace. I can help you rebuild your spaceship, but you have to help end this. It's chaotic. I know you can do it, and I know you can kill me easily. His tone was indifferent but determined. Okay. Su Sheng said indifferently. You can go around. After Vulcan finished speaking, he called 333 Roar and moved the disciple over to prepare for repair and transformation. Su Sheng originally wanted to see how he did it, but, couldn't understand it. His operation has no technical content at all, and it is more like using the ability of the priest to achieve an unscientific transformation. So Su Sheng simply looked around. There are many kinds of finished equipment, most of which are cold weapons. Although the materials are general, the quality of Vulcan is much higher after all. Look at the east, look at the west, it will only take more than an hour to touch it, and the fire god called Su Sheng over. Try a punch. The appearance of the disciple did not seem to have changed in any way, except that the damaged place had been repaired. What strength? Su Sheng asked. Anything. Vulcan said confidently. Diana demigod, Su Sheng raised his fist and hit it directly. Boom. The power shook, Vulcan's men staggered back, and the disciple was unscathed. Awesome. Su Sheng exclaimed, this time directly superimposing the power of the demigod to four times and hitting it again. This time, it was only slightly sunken. Cattle. Su Sheng stretched out his thumb, and without seeing what he did, he raised the defensive ability of the disciple by so much. 
The punch just now was equivalent to the full attack of Diana in the four demigods, and the result was only a little dent. If it is a newborn power, it should be able to withstand multiple attacks. If you are attacked like the last time, even if the defense barrier is broken, the hull will not be affected. This is for Diana. Vulcan was a little tired and let out a sword. Vulcan sword. Su Sheng smiled and took it. Can you cut off my spaceship? Vulcan did not speak. That's okay. It's really a different treatment, but you are a family and also said in the past. So far, the gods of Olympus I have a good impression of you, keep it, if you encounter trouble, you can find me, although I can't give you contact information. Su Sheng got on the disciple with a chuckle and prepared to leave. The ship of the disciple was upgraded by Vulcan, and I went back to get artificial intelligence, and by the way, I went to Adam to research and study nano-shrinking technology, perfect. Boom. The disciple took off in an instant and rushed out directly, several times faster than before. Watching the disciple leave, Vulcan sat weakly and paralyzed on the ground, but he didn't cut corners at all to upgrade the disciple, especially the internal structure of the disciple was intricate and complicated, which really consumed a lot of his energy and divine power. When Su Sheng drove the disciple back to Paradise Island, the time it took was more than twice as short as when it came out. Defense, speed, and greatly improved, Su Sheng was satisfied and couldn't be more satisfied. Seeing Diana coming from a distance, Su Sheng smiled and rushed forward and hugged her and kissed her. This caught Diana by surprise, and subconsciously responded slightly. After a while, Su Sheng let go of Diana and said with a smile. You brother is not bad. It's not easy for you to say something good. Diana paused and laughed. It seems that his transformed disciple number makes you very satisfied. Yes. Su Sheng handed over the Vulcan sword casually. He gave this from him. Diana happily took it, and she could feel the power contained in this sword. Where is my mantra lasso? She asked, turning her head. Well. Su Sheng thought for a while and shook his head. This stuff is easy to use, so. Humph. Diana snorted in dissatisfaction. The slightly arrogant expression made Su Sheng reach out and hug her, and whispered in her ear, go to the boat or your room. It wasn't just before returning to Paradise Island, why? Diana said subconsciously in a daze. Su Sheng smiled. I'm the old thief who learned from Zeus, and I should leave after solving the Olympus matter. You will have to wait at least decades or even hundreds of years to meet again. What are you looking for the flash? Diana asked. Yes. Su Sheng smiled brilliantly and pulled Diana onto the disciple. After walking a few steps, Diana slowly broke away. I. I am now the only pillar of the sisters, and I have to deploy defense. And, don't forget that we are still enemies. I will definitely defeat you next time. Even if you are stronger than God. Su Sheng paused and pointed at the starry sky above his head. Do you want the stars in the sky? I can steal them for you. What? Diana looked up at the stars. Stealing stars for me. What are you doing? Diana is very weak. Sometimes she really doesn't know what Su Sheng is thinking and what to do. I want to secretly change the day. Su Sheng looked at Diana with a bright smile. Stealing the sky and changing the day. Is this a Chinese idiom? It means secretly changing the sky, metaphorically changing the truth of things in order to achieve the purpose of deceiving and deceiving. What do you, what are you going to do? Diana looked at Su Sheng inexplicably. Su Sheng smiled and waved his hand and turned back to the disciple, leaving Diana confused to guess the purpose of his words. Looking at the unclosed hatch, Diana simply didn't want to. If he could be understood and guessed so easily, he would not be Su Sheng. Diana turned around and went to Antioch to ask about the defense situation. After a few steps, she suddenly heard a scream in the distance. Something went wrong. Diana screamed and rushed in the direction of Sheng Yin. The screams made the others wake up. Hera, the girl in shirt, Laura, Riley, and Valentina ran out one after another. As soon as they came out, they saw the flames in the distance, like a wall of fire illuminating the whole heaven. Island. What happened? Lily asked the Amazon warrior who ran out. That's our alarm, someone has invaded. The Amazon soldier said quickly and ran out. Lily looked at Valentina, and the two instantly turned into Firestorm and flew into the air. The dense crowds of enemies rushed here like a tide. 
These enemies have long beast heads and human bodies, like demons crawling out of hell. The warriors of the Amazon bravely resisted the enemy, but they were outnumbered. They could only gradually retreat. The blood splattered the earth, and the pools of blood seemed to be surging, unexpectedly drilled out from the inside. This is the ability of the ocean. The ocean took refuge in the firstborn. No, the firstborn killed the ocean. Hera's face changed slightly. The ocean in her mouth refers to the sea god Poseidon. The king of god Zeus, Hades, and Poseidon belong to the same generation. Zeus drove the newborn into the depths of the earth, allowing Poseidon, the sea god, to guard the newborn's equipment and Hades to guard the exit. As a result, the newborn not only crawled out, but also took back his own equipment and began to punish the gods. Looking at these beast heads and human monsters, watching them use blood as a channel to drill out, it is obvious that Hades and Poseidon are already. Even they are not spared, maybe the gods of Olympus are already dead, right? Who can stop the powerful newborn now? Su Sheng, go and inform Su Sheng. Hera yelled at Laura. Laura paused and ran to the disciple. As soon as I ran over, I saw Su Sheng coming out of it. Looking at the chaos outside, I couldn't help frowning and said, it really doesn't make people stop, look good on the disciple number. Su Sheng confessed to Laura that the incarnation firestorm flew out. In the darkness, two firestorms swiftly shuttled through the air, and flames exploded and burned in the monsters. The flames seemed to have turned into long ropes to tie these monsters together, unable to break free. Su Sheng flew into the air, and the whole body began to flash with thunder, as if a god came and smashed it suddenly. Boom. 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 Thunder strikes these monsters with incomparable precision without hurting the Amazon warriors. Diana raised her head to look into the air, and the corners of Su Sheng's mouth slightly raised, and the wristbands of both hands collided and slammed forward. In an instant, the golden divine power was like a sea wave swept out, and the monster in front instantly turned to ashes. The Vulcan sword was out of its sheath, and Diana leapt high and landed into the distant battlefield. Amazon hail. Amazon hail. The Amazon warriors bravely raised roar, no one backed down even if someone fell down beside him. Aren't you helping? The girl in the shirt asked Hera, who was indifferent to recovering her supernatural power while holding her baby. Hera shook her head and said nothing. Do you want them to kill all the people in Amazon? Don't forget, the firstborn won't let you go, and Su Sheng won't let you go. The shirt girl shouted angrily. Hera remained silent. Suddenly, a monstrous hatred that made the world change its color suddenly appeared. In the blood, a tall monster slowly emerged. The body is more than two meters tall, and the dark red body has no skin at all. It seems that there is only flesh and blood. On the back of his hand, two long horns like dragon teeth protrude, and there is a faint cloak-like thing behind it, but it seems to be connected to the body. There are even a few black lines that seem to be tentacles floating around. It's hard to tell what his face looks like, and there are things like horns on his head. Chu, newborn. Diana looked at him in shock. Isn't this less than a day? When I saw him last time, although he was crazy but at least he was still a person, but now he has completely turned into a monster. One day, within one day, he killed Apollo, the god king, the gods on Mount Olympus, and possibly the sea god Poseidon and Hades. He, how strong is he now? Taking a deep breath, Diana yelled and swung her sword towards the newborn. The black tentacles behind the newborn suddenly stretched out and instantly shot Diana to the ground, and then entangled her. This is not a mantra lasso, but it makes Diana feel that her power and life seem to be passing fast. Pissed, pissed, pissed. The tentacles of the newborn opened instantly, and the surrounding Amazon warriors were pierced one by one, and the body quickly dried up and only the skeleton fell to the ground slowly, being crushed by the newborn without hesitation. Diana struggled and brandished the Vulcan sword to cut off her tentacles and fell to the ground, but was instantly overwhelmed by the monster. When Diana repelled these monsters and then caught up, newborn had already arrived on the square and put her hand on Hippolyte's head. Open. Diana shouted anxiously and hurried over. The newborn crimson eyes looked at Athena who rushed over and said coldly and cruelly, I want to die, I don't want to be the king of gods, I want to kill all of you and become the only existence. As he said, the newborn's fingers squeezed vigorously. Do not. Diana shouted in despair. A flame came to the newborn in an instant. 
She still owes me a horse, but you can't just crush it to pieces like this. Su Sheng punched out the newborn in an instant. Diana sighed in a long sigh of relief and hurried over. Fortunately, the mother didn't. Her thoughts hadn't fallen, but she suddenly realized that Hippolyte, who had turned into a stone statue, stood up, with blue light in her eyes. This, what's going on? Diana. The stone statue of Hippolyte looked at Diana with a vivid and kind expression. Mother, you. I don't know. Hippolyte knew what she was asking, and shook his head slightly and reached out to pick up the spear on the ground. I know, Paradise Island is inviolable. The atmosphere of resolute expression instantly permeated, Diana's expression was sober, and the surrounding Amazons were also inspired. That. I violated it. When the fighting spirit was at its strongest, Su Sheng said quietly. Su Sheng seemed to have a natural ability to destroy the atmosphere. Originally everyone's fighting spirit was provoked by Hippolyte, but he was instantly discouraged by a word. Hippolyte was silent. Diana glared at Su Sheng as she was about to speak, when suddenly she saw a few black tentacles attack instantly. The sword of Vulcan was cut out. Swish, the tentacles fell. I have to say that this Vulcan sword is indeed a divine weapon, and Vulcan's name can't be a parallel import. It is a sharp sword that can be cut at the subatomic level. The tentacles on this side had just been cut off, and the newborn on the other side had already rushed towards Su Sheng. For 7,000 years, for 7,000 years, newborn climbed up from the depths of the earth with monstrous hatred. Originally, he only wanted to get back what belonged to him, such as ascending to the throne. But now his thinking has changed, he wants to destroy everything, whether it is a god or a man. Originally no one or god was his opponent, but Su Sheng appeared. Obviously he is not a god, but he can have the power of god, even his own power to kill god. He was defeated. It was a complete failure. But he won again because he was taken back to Olympus by Apollo. When Apollo's stupid abused him to make him surrender, newborn killed him and killed the gods on Olympus. He became stronger, even he killed Poseidon, Hades, the god of the sea, and even Cassandra who followed him to help himself. He felt that he was strong enough, so he came. With vengeful anger. His current power is countless times stronger than before, even if you can have the same power as me, it is only me at that time. Go to hell. The newborn snorted, his fist roaring away like a missile that can destroy everything. Boom. The two punches faced each other, and the huge amounts of power made Su Sheng retreat instantly. Two long traces were drawn on the hard ground, and they slid more than 10 meters away before they could stop. Diana, Firestorm, Hera, everyone's eyes widened, especially Diana. This was the first time she saw Su Sheng in the competition, lost. How can this be? As everyone watched in astonishment, Su Sheng shook his broken arm slightly, and the injury would heal completely in a few seconds. So, five times. Su Sheng didn't seem to be affected at all, but looked at the newborn with interest. Your power has increased five times compared to the last time. Is this because you swallowed the flesh and blood of the gods and gained power or because you absorbed their sources? The latter is unlikely, although one person can have many sources, but now that the new gods are rising, the old gods can hardly do this, so it's your own ability. A special case in an old god like you, I doubt if the wall of origin deliberately wants to use your hand to destroy the old god. No one can use me. Although newborn didn't understand what he meant, he denied it. You won't know even if you are used. Su Sheng smiled and raised his eyebrows. So, the second round. Die. The newborn drank again and rushed over. Su Sheng didn't move, or even the slightest sense of tension and seriousness. He slowly raised his arm as if he was stretching his waist, and hit the newborn's fist. Unlimited stacking, ten times. Boom. The impact of a stronger force than before oscillated instantly, as if a hurricane passed by and blew everything around it instantly. In the strong wind, the newborn body was seen flying upside down and directly penetrated the distant mountain. The mountain collapsed and buried it. You, you. Diana pierced the Vulcan sword into the ground to stabilize her body and looked at Su Sheng in a daze. You don't think I will really lose, do you? This joke is not funny. Su Sheng said with a chuckle. If it weren't for calculating how many times his power was increased and he was crushing back exponentially, do you think I would be shaken back by him? I was already stronger than a tiger, so why play a pig? Play pig eat tiger. 
Su Sheng didn't have that interest. If you want to pretend to be forced, you have to be in front of someone you don't know. Looking at anyone who doesn't know his strength in this circle, pretending to be forced is boring. The last time Su Sheng crushed him with twice the strength of the firstborn, this time the firstborn was improved by five times. Su Sheng crushed him with ten times the strength. Too much, I'm afraid he is desperate. Rumbling. A loud noise came from the other side of the mountain, the rubble was shaken away, and the newborn came out of it embarrassedly, grinning glaringly at Su Sheng. In a short moment, he came to Su Sheng again. Boom. Punch. Newborn retreat. Angrily shot again. Boom. It was another punch. Newborn back again. Su Sheng stood on the spot like a hitter in baseball, hitting the ball easily again and again. Boom. Su Sheng once again knocked the newborn out and said to the dazed Diana, If I were you, then I will solve those monsters first. What? Diana realized that the opponents on Paradise Island were not only newborn, and immediately turned to join the battle. The morale is stronger and the fighting spirit is stronger. If Hippolyte's words just made them rather die than surrender and kill the enemy bravely, then Su Sheng's act of crushing the newborn has greatly increased their confidence and has a psychological advantage that has already defeated the enemy. In this case, every Amazon warrior has the advantage it has become more brave and stronger than before. Being beaten again and again, the newborn who was as helpless as last time became more and more angry. His hatred, his power became stronger and stronger. The anger seemed to make him forget to think, a stronger force burst out in his body, and the tentacles behind him gradually turned into a pair of demonic wings and began to frantically absorb the vitality and energy around him. The world behind him seemed to be it all began to become dark and nothingness. Is this a popped bean? I'll bother you guys and just hang up. Looking at the changes in the firstborn, Saint Su 4.2 vomited. I said, buddy, you must think that you are awesome now. Maybe you are still thinking about how you can destroy the world, right? It's useless, the reality is cruel. Accompanied by the voice, Su Sheng already raised his fist and rushed towards the newborn. The initial strength skyrocketed, and he fisted fiercely to resist. Unlimited stacking, 50 times. I, is the reality. Boom. With fists and fists facing each other, Su Sheng's fist quickly crushed the newborn's fist and arm like a bulldozer, with a bang at the end. Newborn, exploded. Newborn, exploded. Flesh and flesh spurted around, a powerful force radiating black light took advantage of the flow, roar whistled out and instantly penetrated into the cloud and disappeared. Sure enough, it's a horror. Su Sheng curled his lips. What flew away just now should be the source of the new birth, right? Regardless of the nameless god or the destroyer of the soul, the firstborn is a real deal even if there is no source of priesthood. According to the past situation, killing the firstborn by himself can get his source to take over his priesthood. But other people's sources either drifted away like Aris, or directly specified like Ares, but they didn't fly away like the firstborn. It's clear that I don't want people to inherit the origin of the newborn. Am I right? Is it true that the Wall of Origins used the first birth to destroy the old gods? After all, there are not many old gods left after the first birth. Su Sheng muttered and followed the monsters who discovered the attack on Paradise Island. This suddenly deflated like a leaking balloon, and gradually penetrated into the ground and disappeared. The big B010SS will automatically disappear after hanging up with the little brother. It's so old-fashioned. Su Sheng turned around while complaining. As soon as he turned around, he saw a pair of eyes that turned golden light like Hawkeye. Women in shirts. Her hand seemed to become like a bird's claw, and the baby in her arms flew up instantly. Fly, fly up. Her sudden change caused Hera next to her to be caught off guard. Seeing that the girl in the shirt was about to fly away, Su Sheng waved a fire and hit her back. The girl in the shirt fell directly from the air with a grunt, and she was seen turning her body back and hitting the ground heavily in midair. Boom. The girl in the shirt hit the ground directly. Diana and others did not react to her changes for a while. Holding the baby with her hands, she slowly got up and looked unscathed. What are you doing? Hawkeye, who was in the shirt, looked at Su Sheng and made a very different voice from before. Yeah, Athena. Diana looked at the shirt girl in surprise. This voice was exactly the same as the voice she had heard in her mind before, it was Athena's voice. She is Athena. 
Su Sheng looked at the shirt girl unexpectedly. Okay, it's a little bit, it's hidden deep. Thank you Diana, you helped my father return. Athena said towards Diana. Father. Zeus. Diana looked at the baby Zook in her arms in surprise and said angrily. You lied to me. No, Diana, I was born in this human body a long time ago, and my divinity slept in her body until she was born. He. Athena looked down at Zook. Since Zeus once gave birth to me, and I gave birth to him, let him return to the throne, and my mission will be completed. So, don't stop me. Diana said, raising her head to look at Su Sheng who came by. What if I stop it? Can you stop me or this little kid can stop me? Su Sheng stood in front of Athena and stretched out his hand to stun the seemingly ignorant baby. Hippolyte suddenly wakes up from the statue state as your ghost. Then you should be sure to change her back. I promised Diana to restore everyone in Paradise Island to their original state. So, if you change Hippolyte back, I will let Athena take you back to Mount Olympus and sit on the throne again. How about? Wow. The little baby didn't seem to understand and started crying. Let your daughter become a mortal, sleep with her and then give birth to yourself. You have such an open mind. Do you think it is useful to pretend to be stupid? Hurry up and don't waste my time. If you don't agree, I will abolish your crime. Tools, you won't be able to wave after you grow up. Su Sheng said with a smile. His cry stopped abruptly, and his eyes lit up with a blue light like thunder. The next moment Hippolyte recovered from the state of the statue. Really an old thief. Su Sheng laughed dumbly, looking at the innocent and innocent baby with big eyes. Good luck, don't meet me in the future. Athena stepped back and flew again with the baby in her arms, this time Su Sheng did not stop her. Everyone silently watched them disappear into the night sky, not knowing what to say for a while. The shirt girl is Athena, and Zeus is Zeus. So what are all these things they experienced? Huh. A soft drink came, and the thunder was shining with electric lights, and Hera followed back to Mount Olympus. It seems it's all over. Su Sheng chuckled lightly and thought it was funny. These gods are very interesting. The Queen Hera is jealous. Whether it is sitting idly by and allowing the death of the Amazon warrior or Hippolyte's failure to return, she may have done it deliberately. Athena slept with her father and then gave birth to her own father. This kind of operation is suffocating. There is also Zeus, who said that his old thief really didn't bury him, he would obediently submit as soon as he threatened him as a criminal tool. Olympus gods, haha. Su Sheng said to Diana with a chuckle. Since things are resolved, then I'm leaving. So fast. Diana said subconsciously. Why don't you leave tomorrow? Hippolyte also followed. Yes, this time you saved the Paradise Island again, and, also ended all this chaos, stay and let us express our gratitude. Forget it, although the matter is over, you still have a lot of mess 940 to deal with. I'm not interested in staying. Donna. Diana responded softly. Gone. Su Sheng waved his hand to beckon Roar as Lely and Valentina, who had already lifted the firestorm transformation, were about to return to the disciple. Laura had been obediently guarding the disciple. And many more. Seeing that Su Sheng was about to board the disciple, Diana suddenly yelled and chased him up. Su Sheng turned around. Diana kissed her. Ah. Diana's behavior was a little unexpected. After a while, the two separated. Diana looked at Su Sheng. Wait for me, decades or a hundred years, I will find you, and then, challenge you. Challenge me, is this a pun? After all. Looking at Diana who just turned back after speaking, Su Sheng touched the corner of his mouth and chuckled and turned to the disciple. The next stop is the central city after the birth of the Flash. Central city. Nine months ago, Dr. Risen Wells, a cutting-edge laboratory, launched the particle accelerator under the expectation. It was a stormy evening. The success of the particle accelerator only lasted for a short time because the electron volts could not be measured. The plug suddenly exploded. When it could not be cooled off, the energy could only be rushed into the air from the blasting site. The energy of the particle accelerator forms shockwave and spreads to the entire central city in an instant. The particle accelerator exploded and the cutting-edge laboratory was forced to close. Countless people have had an impact because of this explosion. The most influential one is naturally the Flash, Barry Allen. The Flash has many generations. The most famous is Barry Allen. 
it can be said that he created the speed force or he is the speed force, and the speed force is the origin of all speed people. When Barry Allen was a child, he witnessed the speed killer killing her mother, and his father was convicted as a murderer and sentenced to jail. Barry Allen was adopted by Canterlot police officer Joe West since she was a child. After he grew up, she became a Canterlot's material evidence technologist, desperate to find the murderer of his mother. Nine months ago, the particle accelerator exploded and Barry Allen was struck by lightning and fell into a coma. Nine months later, Barry Allen woke up. Su Sheng also drove the disciple to the central city. This era is absolutely ahead of Lily, Valentina, and Laura. Watching the busy cars on the street, watching people show off in modern clothes, especially all kinds of modern buildings and electronic equipment makes them need time to digest and assimilate. Master, how long will we stay this time? The disciple landed on a clearing and entered invisible mode. After coming down, Laili couldn't help but ask Su Sheng. Su Sheng thought for a while. It should stay for a while. Then shall we find a place to stay? Lily asked again. Su Sheng looked around and happened to see a canned beverage bottle not far away. He picked it up and held it in his hand. The firestorm's ability was instantly activated. In an instant, the palm of his hand radiated hot flames, and you could clearly see the beverage bottle in the flame. Changes. The flame disappeared and Su Sheng threw the drink bottle to Laili. Find a place to sell you a change of clothes, stroll around, and find a suitable place to stay by the way. Well, this has become golden. Lily held the drink bottle in surprise. How did you do it? Firestorm has the ability to rearrange subatomic particles to change the atomic composition of different substances. You will not be short of money after practicing when you have time. Su Sheng said casually. It can still be like this. Wouldn't it turn stones into gold? Laili exclaimed. Valentina pouted her lips and said nothing. You go shopping, I'll meet a friend. Shopping is a woman's nature, and even Laura, who is reluctant to leave the Soviet Union or follows in a daze, doesn't mean to resist. Although the three of them dressed in retro styles, they are still not fancy outfits. What's more, the tolerance of this era is still very strong. Walking on the street did not cause any sensation. What I really want to say is that the rate of turning back is relatively high. After all, three it is normal for a beautiful and tall beauty to be eye-catching on the street. The only minor trouble is that when they were selling gold drink cans, the owner of the gold shop was also dumbfounded. The first time I saw people using gold to make drink cans, I can only say that they are wealthy and self-willed. When they were shopping, Su Sheng also went to the cutting edge laboratory. The last time I came here was when I helped Laurel to get sonic equipment. At that time, the cutting edge laboratory looked very high end atmosphere, but now it is not only locked by the iron door, but also hung up with a sign that prohibits approaching. I don't know if Caitlin is inside. Su Sheng just wanted to jump in when he heard a creaking brake sound behind him. And when he turned his head, he saw a red car parked on the side of the road behind him. The door opens. A woman walked quickly around the car. Su Sheng, is it really you? Speaking of Cao Cao, Cao Cao will be there. It was Caitlin Snow who came here. I'm planning to go in and find you. Su Sheng pointed to the cutting edge laboratory and said with a smile. I just came out from the inside, the parking lot is behind, and I saw you standing at the door thinking that you were mistaken. I didn't expect it to be you. You came to see me. Why didn't you call me in advance? Where have you been for a long time? Do you know how much trouble it caused me? Caitlin Snow couldn't help complaining after the excitement. What's the trouble? Su Sheng asked in amazement. I was kidnapped because of you. Caitlin Snow thought about it for a moment and still felt lingering in her heart. So miserable. Su Sheng asked unexpectedly. Because I was kidnapped. Who kidnapped you? A woman, wearing a uniform like Robinson and using crossbow arrows, asked me if the sonic equipment was made by a cutting-edge laboratory, and asked if I knew you, I was really hurt by you. Caitlin Snow snorted. Huntress Helena. Su Sheng smiled and asked, then what? Are you embarrassed to laugh? Caitlin Snow said angrily. Then I was rescued by another person, who claimed that Black Canary used the original sonic equipment. Later I quietly investigated and found out that they were all from Starling, and Black Canary is even more of a hero in Starling. It sounds like I was involved, or not. I invite you to dinner. 
Su Sheng said with a smile. You definitely want to apologize and make up for me, but first you say what is wrong with me suddenly after missing for so long, I'm considering whether to help you avoid getting into trouble again. Caitlin Snow said angrily. It should be the thing you were looking forward to. Su Sheng smiled. Caitlin Snow's eyes lit up. Do you check your body? Yes, Miss Nurse. Su Sheng said seriously. Then, you come with me first. Caitlin Snow thought for a while and wanted to invite Su Sheng into the car. After getting in the car, the car did not drive back to the cutting edge laboratory. Where to go? My home. Your home. Is this too fast? Su Sheng said jokingly. Ignoring Su Sheng's joke, Caitlin Snow said while driving. The cutting edge laboratory is not very convenient now, so I will take you to my home to do some routine checks. By the way, if, I mean, if someone is struck by lightning but does not die but falls into a coma, it lasts for nine months. When he was in a coma, his body functions were normal and there was no sign of degeneration and atrophy. You, do you think it is possible? Caitlin also glanced at Su Sheng with some hesitation. You mean Barry Allen? Su Sheng said casually. Crack. The car stopped suddenly, and Caitlin Snow looked at Su Sheng in surprise. How did you know? I know a lot. I drove. Su Sheng urged. Caitlin Snow started the car again with doubts and curiosity. Is he awake? Su Sheng asked with a chuckle. Caitlin Snow nodded. Woke up. I wanted to do a more detailed examination for him. After all, he was struck by lightning and was in a coma for nine months. Some changes must have taken place in his body, but unfortunately he left. Don't worry, he will be back soon. Su Sheng's purpose this time is to replicate the superb power of the Flash. The super fast force is simply a bug. The super fast speed can not only travel through time and space, but also extend a series of abilities. The members of the Flash family used their swift power to engage in other things, and Barry Allen created a Flashpoint event because of saving his mother and restarted the timeline many times. Ability to make trouble. But who made him the pro son of the speed force? At the moment when he possessed the speed force to become the Flash, the speed force extended to different time and space, creating a series of speed people, only using the speed force to start running, speed force produces energy. For example, Drive. Harrison Wells, the head of the current cutting-edge laboratory, his true identity is the reverse lightning coming from the future. He wanted to kill the Flash but killed the Flash's mother. As a result, a series of changes caused him to lose his speed and energy and had to stay in this era. He had to find a way to turn Barry Allen into the Flash again, and he had to be a mentor. The identity of Barry Allen taught Barry Allen to run faster, only in this way can the super power can generate more energy to let him go home through time. So Su Sheng suddenly thought of a question. If copying Barry Allen's ability to obtain super fast power, will he be subject to Barry Allen's super fast power like reverse lightning, or will he have his own independent super fast power? Although he said that his purpose of wanting super power is to facilitate waves, he still hates being subject to people. Don't wave waves and be trapped in a certain era like reverse lightning. Isn't it boring to die? If it's an independent speed force, it's fine, if not, then throw him into the speed force as a battery. After all, it's better than being beaten up. At the beginning of each episode, Barry Allen didn't force his face to say that he was the present. The fastest in the world, but actually the fastest being beaten in the face. It's just slower than the other speeders. Sometimes even the car can't catch up. The villains who encounter non-speeders will have to be abused first and then burst into the small universe. You think you are Saint Seiya. It's not the speed that you get the fastest, but the slap in the face, right? Ring. Ring. The phone rang suddenly and Caitlin Snow's phone rang. Slowly stopping the car, Caitlin Snow turned around and picked up her bag from the back to find out the call was connected. Cisco. Is something wrong? Caitlin Snow asked and looked at Su Sheng somewhat unexpectedly. I see, I will go back now. Putting away the phone, Caitlin Snow looked at Su Sheng with a weird look. Barry is back to the lab, I need to go back right away. I guess it's not convenient to take me with me, right? Su Sheng asked with a chuckle. Caitlin Snow smiled apologetically. Just send me back to the vicinity of the laboratory, and then tell me the address of your home, and I will look for you at night. Su Sheng said indifferently. 
Caitlin Snow talked about her address and turned back to the laboratory. After getting off at the place where he had just boarded, Su Sheng watched Caitlin Snow return to the laboratory but did not leave. If you guessed it correctly, Barry Allen should have found out that he has acquired ability, and there is nothing to do anyway. Su Sheng intends to wait for him to come out to replicate his superpower. For about an hour or so, a thin, tall, gentle, and seemingly innocent man walked out of the road on the other side of the cutting-edge laboratory. Barry Allen. Being beaten by the face king, I gave it to me the first time I slapped him. Su Sheng raised his mouth corners and followed. Seeing Barry Allen's dazed expression, Su Sheng quickly took his shoulders forward and pushed him into the alley next to him. Barry Allen nearly fell by surprise, and turned around angrily after standing firm. Hey, what are you doing? Barry Allen asked displeased L.Y. Robbery. Su Sheng said solemnly. Robbery. Wait, wait, wait. You said you want to rob. You, rob me. Barry Allen was first dumbfounded and then pointed at himself as if he had won five million. Are you sure? You are going to rob me. Oh God, so many people, I mean you didn't choose so many people, but you chose me. Are you happy? Su Sheng asked, narrowing his eyes. Definitely. I mean that your choice to rob me really makes me happy, this, this is incredible. What about your weapon? Knife? Or gun? What do you use to rob me? Barry Allen looked expectantly at Su Sheng. How about the fist? Su Sheng raised his hand. Fist. Hey, do you know how to martial arts? Come on, hit me. Hit me. Barry Allen pointed at himself happily. Just having super speed, he encountered a robbery, which made Barry Allen seem extremely excited, his eyes fixed on Su Sheng's fist. He moved. The world seemed to stand still at this moment, and the movement of his fist seemed to have been slowed down hundreds of times. Barry Allen walked up to Su Sheng and threw a fist at him and smiled triumphantly. He began to look forward to the scene where the opponent was beaten by himself. Seeing Su Sheng's eyes focus on where he was standing, Watching his arms stretch out slowly, the fist thrown by Barry Allen has reached Su Sheng's face. The next moment, the next moment he will be beaten out by himself. Barry Allen, who has always been thin, couldn't help but start to imagine the scene where the opponent punched him and hit him with super speed. Maybe he could be sent to the police station after that. The fantasy Barry Allen was expecting things to happen but suddenly realized that Su Sheng's eyes moved. She squinted to look at herself, and there was a weird smile on her mouth. How can this be? Barry Allen subconsciously opened his mouth with a shocked expression, and then saw that the originally slowly stretched arm suddenly accelerated towards him. Snapped. There was a crisp face slap, and the almost static world returned to normal. Barry Allen flew out and hit the wall next to him heavily. The original delicate face was swollen like a pig's head. Dizzy, tinnitus and dizziness, Barry Allen's face bursts with tingling eyes and he looked at Su Sheng, who was flashing red electric lights in shock. It's you. Barry Allen, the electric light of this color, can be said to be unforgettable. It was like this the night his mother was killed. You killed my mother. Barry Allen rushed to Su Sheng angrily. The surrounding world seemed to be still and slowed down again, the speed of the force was launched, and Barry Allen's body was shining with yellow light. How do you get the same color as the flashback? Su Sheng looked at the red electric light he produced and slightly curled his lips, waving his hand to knock Barry Allen out again. Boom. The extremely fast Barry Allen slammed into the wall again, and was struck by two rapid forces that made him faint with a sigh. Su Sheng also copied Barry Allen's experience of the speed force when he copied the speed force. Ah, uh, it can be said that he has no experience. So Su Sheng didn't superimpose speed at all lest he slapped Barry Allen out because the speed was too fast, but he didn't arrive yet, that would be embarrassing. But even at the same speed, Barry Allen is not Su Sheng's opponent at all. Looking at Barry Allen who passed out, Su Sheng turned into a red lightning and disappeared instantly. Boom, boom, boom. The strong wind swept across the street quickly, and the corners of the skirts were blown into flight. After a long while, the sound of roar was shocked. Red lightning ran arbitrarily through the streets. Huh. Su Sheng sat on the chair in the disciple's chair and exhaled slightly. So fast. Su Sheng chuckled in a happy mood. At first, his speed was only about 370 kilometers per hour. Later, he tried to double the speed. 
There was no problem with the speed, but because he had no experience in speeding up suddenly, he quickly cancelled it. Barry Allen, who had just gained superb power, was at this speed, and basically disappeared in the blink of an eye. However, this speed is still far from the speed of light. After all, the speed of light is 300,000 kilometers per second. In the comics, the lightning boy Boli West broke out at a speed of 13 trillion times the speed of light. It is basically difficult to reach this level. To describe how fast it is. Su Sheng doesn't care about the speed, as long as the experience and proficiency can keep up, it can be stacked infinitely. It must be the fastest in the DC universe, but what he is curious about is the color of his superpower. Under normal circumstances, he copied Barry Allen's speed force and the color should be the same yellow as him, but it turned into the same red as the reverse lightning. Is it possible that Barry Allen is pretending to be reverse lightning? So, why is this? Su Sheng frowned and recalled. His memory became better after gaining superb power, and many memories that had been vague before became clear again. He remembers that in the comics, it seems that the speed is graded according to the color of the speed force. The slowest is red, then yellow, blue, black or white, and finally gold. But this can't explain his problem. The different colors of the speed force is a problem, whether oneself will be subject to the connection between Barry Allen and the speed force is another question. However, this problem is relatively easy to identify. When he uses the speed force, he can feel the existence of the speed force, which increases while consuming it. So he only needs to watch Barry Allen use the speed force and he does not use it, and the energy change of the speed force can confirm whether there is a relationship. If the supernatural powers that I copied were separate, it would be equivalent to the existence of two supernatural powers in this world, which should be very interesting. It is troublesome to copy inexperienced ability. Su Sheng got up and released the super power again to become familiar. Cutting Edge Laboratory after Barry Allen left, Caitlin Snow also planned to leave. After all, she had an appointment with Su Sheng to meet at her home at night. But as soon as she packed her things, she felt a gust of wind passing by her, and then she saw Barry Allen's nose and face swollen and bloodied in the laboratory. Barry Allen. You, what did you do? Caitlin Snow asked in surprise. Cisco Raymond and Harrison Wells also looked over in surprise. I. I found the murderer of my mother, I just met him. The red, is the red light. Barry Allen said excitedly. He has super speed like me, and he, he seems to be faster than me. It's impossible. As soon as Barry Allen's voice fell, Harrison Wells rejected it excitedly. Seeing other people looking at him, Harrison Wells also knew that he was too excited just now and paused to explain. Barry, it's not so coincidental that there is someone who has the same ability as you and is faster than you, at least not now. But I did. Barry Allen explained. Not long after I left here, an Asian robbed me. I didn't care at first, but he quickly showed the same speed as me. Two times, two times faster than me, and then I fainted. I can see very clearly, it is a red light, exactly the same as the light when I killed my mother. Asian. Caitlin Snow thought of Su Sheng subconsciously, but it shouldn't be so coincidental. Harrison Wells pushed his glasses and said seriously to Barry Allen. I still don't think there is such a coincidence, but if there is such a person. Barry, I will help you find him. Harrison Wells did not believe that Barry Allen had just met the murderer who killed his mother, because he was the murderer. But he believes that Barry Allen may have met the speed player, and this is what makes Harrison Wells want to find this person. Who is this speed person? Is it the same superb power that Barry Allen gained because of the particle explosion? Does his presence help me? Is it good? Harrison Wells asked Barry Allen in detail about the contact with the speed man, and even retrieved the surveillance video of the location at the time. Unfortunately, I didn't know if the other party knew it or was lucky. The surveillance video just happened to be broken, so I can only give it up temporarily. Without clues and clues for the time being, Barry Allen could only leave the cutting-edge laboratory. Caitlin Snow followed shortly after. After Barry Allen's description, she felt that this person is Su Sheng. Although Su Sheng has not shown the ability of super speed, it is really a coincidence. He just appeared and this person also appeared. And he also knows about Barry Allen. Although Su Sheng had pitted her, 
whether it was for sonic equipment or because he was implicated in kidnapping, Caitlin Snow felt that Su Sheng should not look like that kind of bad guy, and Barry's mother had been dead for more than 10 years. At that time, Su how old is Sheng? Arrive home. Caitlin Snow looked at the door from time to time, waiting for Su Sheng to come over. The night is getting deeper. Unknowingly, it was past 9 o'clock. Although Caitlin Snow turned on the TV but turned off the sound, the time seemed to be very long. Bang bang bang. The knock on the door suddenly sounded, and Caitlin Snow hurriedly got up and ran to the door. You finally came. Caitlin Snow looked at Su Sheng at the door with a sigh of relief. Su Sheng smiled and gathered the red wine in his hands. It took some time for it. Check your body and you can't drink. Caitlin Snow said in a daze. You can drink after checking. Su Sheng smiled and looked around. The layout is very special. It seems that there is only one bedroom but the living room is very large. There is an experiment table in the corner and several machines, which fits the identity of Caitlin Snow. Do you live by yourself? Su Sheng asked casually. Didn't you say that I am suitable for being single? Caitlin Snow murmured. Su Sheng chuckled lightly, and when she saw her, she found that she didn't have the emotion of a dead boyfriend. Is there a person named Ronnie Raymond in the advanced lab? Why do you know so much about cutting-edge laboratories? Caitlin Snow asked again in confusion, and then said. Ronnie does work for a cutting-edge laboratory, but on the night of the particle explosion, he ventured to rescue him in order to prevent the explosion from destroying the entire laboratory. As a result, he is a hero. Caitlin Snow exclaimed. So you didn't have anything to do with him? Su Sheng asked curiously. After all, in the TV series, Ronnie Raymond was the fiancé of Caitlin Snow besides being the first firestorm to be combined with Martin Stein. Our character is not suitable. Caitlin Snow shook his head. Oh. Su Sheng said with a smile without further questioning. Should I start checking now? Do I need to take it off? No, you, you just need to wear shorts. Caitlin Snow said. Good. Su Sheng also wanted to know his own situation. Su Sheng took off until only shorts were left and began to do routine tests under the command of the blushing Caitlin Snow, and it took more than an hour to finish. From the current routine tests, your body is very healthy and there is no problem, but the DNA test results will not come out after a while. Su Sheng nodded and took off his equipment and walked to the sofa to wait for the result. You, don't you put your clothes on first? Caitlin Snow asked hesitation. Don't take advantage of it and behave well. For a figure like me, there are not many sizes like this. Su Heng said with a smile. Caitlin Snow couldn't help but blush and sipped before asking. I ask you something, do you have super speed? I saw Barry Allen in the afternoon. Yes. Su Sheng answered casually. Caitlin Snow said in surprise, really? Don't believe it. Su Sheng suddenly smirked, and the power was activated instantly, and red lightning surrounded Caitlin Snow. Before she could react, Su Sheng had returned to her original position, and at the same time she had an extra one in her hand. Clothing. This. Is this clothes a bit familiar? Seeing Su Sheng shaking his clothes with a smirk, Caitlin Snow looked down and subconsciously blocked herself. Isn't this the clothes I wore just now? You, when, how, how did you do it? Caitlin Snow didn't notice it at all. What are you blocking? Don't you still wear underwear? What's more, I really want to see if you can block it. You can't feel it even if you don't. Su Sheng said with a smile. Who said it? Don't I know if it hurts or not? Caitlin Snow retorted subconsciously. It hurts. Su Sheng looked at Caitlin Snow with a smile. Caitlin Snow shouted angrily. You are bored, use ability to do this kind of thing. Ability is for use, or as a decoration. Su Sheng said casually. How did you get super speed? And, you. Caitlin Snow had some hesitation and shouldn't ask. Did you kill Barry Allen's mother? Because my super strength color is red. Su Sheng asked rhetorically. Yes. Caitlin Snow nodded embarrassedly. Don't worry, it's not me. Su Sheng smiled lightly. That's good. Caitlin Snow let out a sigh. Su Sheng casually put Caitlin Snow's clothes aside, and started the wine road. Why didn't I ask if I was true? You seem to have more confidence in killing Barry's mother than I have superpower. Diddy 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 diddy. Caitlin Snow was about to speak, but news came from the instrument. There is a result. 
Caitlin Snow turned to look at the test results on the computer, frowning slightly. 3.7 inches strange, how could this be? Is there any problem? Su Sheng came to the computer with a whistle. No, your physical condition and DNA condition are exactly the same as those of ordinary people. But this is weird. You can discharge before, and there is also super speed. Under normal circumstances, your genes should change. Caitlin Snow frowned. Said puzzled. Thanks for watching, please subscribe and support our channel.